video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You can give us a call at 855-450-3733 on the ProXPN toll-free call-in lines. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Mark with you. And Johnson. Johnson, you were just raving that the blockchain app yeah. updated on your iPhone. Yeah, it did. It, can't, it just automatically, because I, I was one of the lucky ones who I had it from before it got banned, and... Um, I, you know, I was sad when it got banned because it wasn't updated and there are some nice new features that have been added to the Android app. And lo and behold, today I go and look at the blockchain app and it has updated and I have the new version because it is now back in the iOS store. And so anyone who had it has had their app updated and anyone who has iOS um, and hasn't, you know, shot their phone with a gun or smashed it against <laughs> a rock or, you know, sledgehammer, axe, whatever. Um, if you still are an iOS user who also has the blockchain app and is using Bitcoin, well, you can you can have it be updated or I would recommend it's a very good wallet. Well, and, and it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's available once again and a lot of people are excited about it. You can go to blockchain.com to get the app easily. It's available right there. But blockchain is... Probably the largest, among other things, um, the the largest Bitcoin website out there, and probably the largest .dot info website out yeah. there too. <laughs> but uh, they do great stuff, and I, most of their services, everything I can think of, is is completely free. Blockchain, yeah. blockchain .dot um, blockchain .dot info for sort of the main site, and blockchain .dot com for downloading the app. And the app is super convenient for using and trading Bitcoin. I mean, they just made it super simple now. Indeed. So let's go on with this story about uh, yes. taking pictures of kids. Um, so, okay, so as we were talking about school districts protecting children and now state laws are changing, so let's talk about the state laws that are changing to make this a more problematic. So as of 2012, at least two states have considered legislation to make it illegal to photograph children without parental permission. Georgia passed a bill in 2010 that makes it illegal for anyone but a parent to photograph or videotape a child. But the law may be a parent. Yeah, anyone but a parent. So grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles. Uh, so that brothers, photograph sisters. from space. If there's a child somewhere in that photograph um, that happens to be in Georgia at the yes. time, it's there's bound to be a kid out of their house <laughs> in Georgia. <laughs> Yeah, during that picture. So apparently the law, though, may, and here's where it gets interesting. That law, that because it's clearly unconstitutional, that yeah. law may be revised to specifically address registered sex offenders. So now they may change that law to only be sex offenders. And that 
well, I think it's awful. I still think that that's awful. I think it's more close to rational and reasonable. You know, um, I yeah, I mean, it, it's I, I would agree. I'm trying to figure out what I think. One of the things that being an, an ex-con myself, I spent uh, eight and a half years in prison for, uh, well, for a murder charge, and I didn't kill anybody. But one, one of the things that I sort of experienced when I was uh, looking for what do I want to do when I grow up, right? Like I went to prison at 18 years old. I mm-hmm. had worked at a comic book store my entire life. I sort of had to figure out what am I, what direction is my life going to take when I get out? One of the things I we got was this long list, mimeographed copy. Maybe it was mimeographed. Maybe it was uh, poorly um, photocopied. Anyway, a copy of like all the state licenses you can't have right. as a convicted felon, right? Like somehow, um, and I, this isn't legal advice, but I think that florist was on there. Somehow or another, I can't own a florist shop. I can work at a florist <laughs> shop, but I can't own it um, because, well, you know, I've had a felony conviction or, you know, the, the variety of things. Felons can't sell flowers. Dentists, uh, you can't uh, be a, I, I think that that might, I, you know, I would have to check, but I recall that being on the list at the time. And, but, you know, I know dentist was on there, a mortician, a variety of professions. And, you know, people people have to have professions, right? You have to do something. What are you relegating people to? And if you relegate them to a bad life, what are they? What, what reason do they have to stay straight? I want to know what the reason, reasoning is behind a felon not being able to open a flower shop. Well, it's just because it's easy to pass laws against. Um, I mean, no, yeah, it's easy to pass laws against felons, out, but there still normally is some kind of convoluted rationality behind why they pass such a law. I can understand maybe the mortician law, you know, something about dead people, uh, you know. Who knows? But flower shop? What? Because, is, and I'm only thinking, like, I'm thinking along the lines of two things. My movie brain, because it's like all I, I can guess with this stuff is from what I've seen in movies. So I'm thinking that somehow, like, a mafia-connected person or something like that might, you know, if they own, if they're a mortician, maybe they're able to use their connections from prison to dispose of bodies, and you don't want that to happen. Maybe with the flower shop, it's because people are always selling weapons concealed in flower boxes, you know, or something like <laughs> that. Just, what's the convoluted rationality? I can't figure it out. Well, licenses are about exclusion, right? Like, you know, your what good is your license if you let anybody have one? So, um, you know, who are the easiest people to exclude? Felons are. Right. So there you go. I mean, that's what, you know, best thing I've got. Right. So I don't know whether that's still the case in uh, the state of Florida or not. I I would hope not, but uh, Charlie Crist yeah. at one point was uh, you know, sort of changing some things for felons. Yeah. Rand Paul's doing a lot right now to uh, you know, make it so that felons can vote and reenter society in, in different ways. Well, hopefully but, more states go in the good direction, but um, you know, like this Georgia who went who's you know, kinda going in the wrong direction, maybe backing off of it. Apparently New Jersey is also doing the trying to do the same thing as Georgia. Um, and not Again, just ban uh, all uh, photography or videography of children entirely without parental consent, which is, again, it's just going to be shut down if they do that. Yeah, I I just wonder, I mean, are there, I I can see why people would be upset if this, you know, sort of poorly washed individ- male individual um, because these are the these are the stereotypes we're given right right these are you know this is the guy right. you know if this uh, ch- the guy that looks like a child predator he is and of course it's a he it's well, not don't a forget he, it's a not lot a of time it is a woman though because it's you know there um uh, there's a very famous photographer and I'm, I'm feeling remiss that I can't remember her name um who um she took pictures of children in bathtubs and stuff like that, and it was like she was an art photographer, and um, she's the one that takes all the pictures of the babies. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I can't remember what her name is either, but uh, you know, that I suppose that speaks well of me that I can't remember baby photography. Right. Artist. <laughs> um, I, Amy Lang, Dorothy Lang. No, I, I don't have know. no clue. No, I don't think that was it. The but, I mean, when it comes to these uh, situations, you're talking about what people are worried about is they're not worried about sort of people making art pictures of their kids on the playground. Sally Mann. Okay. Um, what they're worried about is the child predator staking out the playground or perhaps taking pictures that they then, you know, imagine naughty things with later or whatever. Right. Um, you know, that's it's, it's one of those two situations. And there's been there's been situations in this country where 
parents, mostly I assume women, have uh, circled up on people taking pictures in a park. Well, here's let's let me break it down. This is the last sort of paragraph of this article, and it really kind of lays it out. Um, so it says other laws may apply. Some other state and federal laws may might apply if anyone photographs or films your child without your knowledge or permission. Your child has the same right to privacy as an adult does. No one can photograph or film your child in a location where he believes he's alone, even if he's alone with his friends. For example, if he's in a sandbox at a public park, a, photo a photographer can take his picture. If he's in a sandbox fenced in your backyard, the photographer would be violating your child's right to privacy as well as your own. 855-453-733. You can give us a call and... Uh You've been lied to, ah. lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my Inc. Magazine best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire, because Wall Street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of Americans. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash several years ago, I said enough. Since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17%, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income, get potential 12 to 17% returns, and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888-885-8820. Following reports of a newly posted job listing at area marketing firm Swenson Digital, The Onion spoke to a few of the 1,400 applicants who claim they are, quote, absolutely perfect for this position. When I first saw this opening, I knew it was right for me. I've got tons of experience. I've got all the skills they're looking for. If you look at my resume, I've got everything they're looking for. I mean, I've held similar jobs like this in the past. I'm extremely driven. I really think this is going to work out. I've got a BA in marketing, which the posting said was recommended, so I think that'll bode really well for me. I've had plenty of team experience, and I think that would stand out, not to mention the fact that I'm great with web design and HTML, and pretty proficient with Excel and PowerPoint. Also, I think the culture is very me, you know. I think I'd fit in well with the other employees. I also think I had a great resume and cover letter. I think as soon as they interview me, they'll see I'm the perfect candidate. As of this video's release, Swenson Digital had extended a job offer to an applicant who happens to be a friend of the boss's son. This is the Onion News Network. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk 
talk live 855-450-3733 that's 855-450 free here on the this live edition of free talk live with mark and Johnson. And Derek J. Derek J. sitting in real quick. I wanted to hear about your adventure today, Derek J. And you were wandering by the studio, so I thought I'd grab you. But um, we're finishing up a story here about uh, sort of the legality of taking pictures of kids. And you had sort of an experience yeah. with that today. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I just, I just want to cover that real quick. But um, if you need focus and you're feeling fatigued, trying to get that extra edge when it counts... Look into modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer offering a multiple of benefits, including double-digit increases in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall so that you can get things done. Businessmen around the world continue to talk about how modafinil from modup.net is making the difference in their work, giving them that critical edge that they need. They provide only the highest premium modafinil with the highest potency so that you can enjoy s significant results. This is why they're the number one sponsor of Reddit's third-party nootropic testing project. Remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio program, and modup.net ships all over the world. So it's your responsibility to know whatever your sort of local bureaucrats want from you, whatever they're things they write down on pieces of paper matter. Uh, go to modup.net. They're a supporter of the Bitcoin community. You can order from modup.net with Bitcoin and get a 33% discount. It uh, may take the deal, deal even sweeter if you use code FTL and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order. So use FTL to get those 10 free tablets and use Bitcoins to get a discount. Um, modup.net. Go look into it for yourself. You'll be sure to find um, that they offer world-class service at great price. It's modup.net. Use code FTL and get those 10 free tablets. We t thank modup.net for their support of Free Talk Live. So in that last segment, I poorly tried to rush through uh, the, this, I think, what are the, the most important point of this article here, which is from lawyers.com about the changing uh, legal situation in re regards to uh, children's photography and videography. So some other state and federal laws might apply if anyone photographs or films your child without your knowledge or permission. Your child has the same right to privacy as an adult does. So again, these laws are very similar to the laws that are in regards to adults. No one can photograph or film your child in a location where he believes he's alone, even if he's alone with his friends. For example, if he's in a sandbox at a public park, a photographer can take his picture. At a public park. Even without your permission. Now, if he's in a sandbox in your fenced-in backyard, the photographer would be violating your child's right to privacy as well as your own. You can use that to stop distribution of the photograph because the photographer's action is a tort or a behavior that justifies a lawsuit. You might also have a claim for trespassing. So this article suggests, again, this is not legal advice coming from us. We're reading lawyers.com here. So if you have more questions about this, the law surrounding children is complicated. Plus, the facts of each case are unique. So this article provides a general brief introduction to the topic. And for more detailed, specific information, you would want to contact a children's rights lawyer. Um so, I mean, there it is. I mean, it's basically the same exact thing with photography and videography of children. It's the same exact thing as adults. If you're in public, you don't have an expectation of privacy. Stop it. Stop saying that people can't photograph or video videograph you. You're wrong. Now, um, Derek J., I saw some videos uh, that you posted today of a, an incident that uh, occurred to you. And... Apparently, there was the videography of a child uh, in in at at issue in this. So, can you uh, sort of relay it as best you can? Yeah, that's right. And the story begins with me at a courthouse where a man has just been arraigned for the charge of second degree assault. And as he's leaving, what's the, first degree assault? Unclear. Okay, uh, I just think it's really bad assault. I don't know. Uh, second degree probably means unplanned. First degree means premeditated. Okay, well. He was facing that charge at arraignment, and uh, a hearing was scheduled for next week uh, where he'll be facing that charge. And as he was leaving, I decided to get some video of this man leaving the courthouse, and uh, one of his conditions were that he not speak with a local business owner about the, the trial. So I thought, wow, what a great opportunity. He's walking right towards that business. I'm going to go see if he goes and talks to that business owner. Um so I stayed about uh, probably 
30 to 50 feet away. I was across the street filming uh, now, with my video camera on a tripod. Were you taking the video in the courtroom too? Yes. Okay, so, so. I, I was taking video in the courtroom and then uh, I left the court before this uh, man and uh, was prepared you know, once he left, he had to leave through the exit doors, and I had my video camera there to get his picture. So let me ask you this. I saw that video, too, um, of his uh, arraignment, and as he's walking out with his uh, small entourage, uh, you know, they, they were clearly not happy with being video, uh, you videoing, period, inside the courtroom. Like, one of them, like, sort of waves a hat at you, and then the, the gal flips you off. Um, was this in any way sort of a, a little bit of badgering on your part? Uh, do you believe that I was badgering the? Well, you know, I mean, are you? I mean, I don't, badgering not in a legal sense, but like, hey, you flip me off. I guess I'll just gonna follow you with a camera. You don't like cameras, well, huh? Well, the the issue for me is I film everything in my day, and, you do. and people can uh, verify that for themselves. I have a website, DerekJ.me, and every day I upload all of my footage to the internet so people can see what's been going on in my life. And what happens is if you do something interesting in front of me, I'm going to video record that. So when people flip me off or make threats or say they're going to shove uh, my camera in uncomfortable places in my body, then I'm going to continue to film you, at least where it's legal to do so, which are public places. So I stayed out on the sidewalk, recorded this uh, gang, and I was across the street from them when they decided to advance towards me. Um, they swiped at my camera Hold and on, some threats were made. I, sure. wanna, I, I do want to hear the story, but I want to take uh, Dave calling in from Fargo. Yes. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. Thanks for taking my call, guys. I want to get your take on something that is extremely interesting to me that's going on where I'm at. On Valentine's Day this year, ironically, uh, a 15-year-old girl in Moorhead, Minnesota, which is just across the river from where we're at, hooked up with two 19-year-old hockey players who were playing for a junior team in Lincoln. Fargo was a junior team. Lincoln was up there. They went back to their hotel room. What's a junior and team? One of the, uh, the junior team in Lincoln is the Lincoln Stars. No, no. What is a junior team? Is a junior team like the uh, junior, step below a A junior pros? team is a hockey team. It's a hockey team that is comprised of 16 to 20 year olds and they're working towards a college scholarship. Okay. So they may be in high school, maybe they're just out of high school, but they're not yet playing college hockey. Okay. So they're in Fargo and they hook up with this 15 year old girl. They go back to uh, their hotel room that they're staying at. One of them has sex with a girl while the other one videotapes. All right. Now she's 15 and they're 19 and the charges have come out against them. And there is a charge of using a minor in a sexual performance. And there is a charge of possessing and distributing child pornography. Because, of course, if you're 19 years old and you videotape yourself having sex with somebody, you're going to send it to all of your friends. All Actually, the, the, age, the age in most cases doesn't matter. If they had been 17 or if they had also been 15, uh, they still would have been charged and registered on the sex offender registry. There's list a system. baffling case of like a, uh, a 15-year-old, I think it was a 16-year-old girl and a 15-year-old boy having sex, videotaped it, and they uh, arrested, I think in that case, both of them for distribution of child pornography. But Okay. Yeah. And that's, that's fine, guys, but here's, here's the take that I want to get from you. When I looked at the charges, there was no statutory rape charge filed. Yeah, that's interesting. And that, that puzzled me, and I looked into it, because she's 15 and they're 19, and you would think that unless there's a messed up law, that that would be a pretty clear-cut case of statutory rape. But here's what I found out. In Minnesota, where this took place, the legal age of consent is 16, but a 13, 14 or 15-year-old girl can legally consent to sex with a guy and vice versa if the guy or girl that they're consenting with is no more than 47 months older than they are. That's pretty common, so actually. 15, There's a lot of laws like that. This is, okay, so I think it's very it's, interesting. Dave, I want you to hold, because I want to talk to you about this. I think that this is, it's very interesting. Should this be considered statutory rape? Um, just hold the line there, Dave. 855-450-3733. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. 
The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones adds, This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits no no and no no for a limited time you can try no no pro risk-free you'll also get the facial kit and a travel case get weeks of long-lasting results that's it i'm getting a no no great minds do think alike (laughs) (laughs) try no no pro risk-free by calling 800-952-5760 Eight hundred nine five two five seven six zero. That's eight hundred nine five two fifty seven sixty. Eight hundred nine five two five seven six zero. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Freedomsphoenix.com, constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative freedomsphoenix.com constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways with liberty and property under constant attack freedomsphoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda and it encourages the participation of its readers go to freedomsphoenix.com that's freedoms with an s phoenix.com freedomsphoenix.com the revolution between the ears has already happened The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, faint, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. 55453. That's the Pro XPN call in line, 855 450 3733. It's Mark with you. And Johnson. And Derek J. Ian, our main host, is off at the county fair handing out pamphlets and trying to get people to get Bitcoin wallets, doing his activism thing that so inspires him. And we're here doing a radio program for you. Happy to do it. So, um, yeah, you can go over and hear the we, Free Talk Live so inspired by doing radio that we've been doing it every single day for four years. And we were doing it six days a week before that. All those archives are available at archives.freetalklive.com uh, for free 
for you. Every other host out there, they're going to charge you for that stuff. We don't do it, at least the commercial hosts. I think uh, the public radio folks, um, they're going to archive it for you for free, which is fine and great. And we believe that the content should be out there for free. We want you to hear uh, the message of liberty. So please go download at your leisure, archives.freetalklive.com. Let's take, we'll go back to Dave and Fargo telling a story about a couple of hockey players that took some video of, uh, well, an incident with a 15-year-old young lady. Yeah, and I guess the question I have is, in Minnesota, if that girl can consent to sex legally with a 19-year-old, then how is it that we can say she cannot consent to the videotaping thereof? I mean, I understand that we're trying to protect minors, and don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to mount a defense for these hockey players. I think most people would think that a 19-year-old that goes out road tripping that ends up with a 15-year-old girl is pretty sick. But that all being said, if she has the right to consent to having sex with those players, then how can we say she doesn't have the right to consent to the videotaping of that event? How can that be considered child pornography if she can legally consent in that case? Are you sure it's that she's not allowed to film it or she's not allowed to distribute it? Right, that's what I was going to be my, my question as well. Well, they were, they, were, they were charged, and again, I'm quoting the charges here. They were charged with using a minor in a sexual performance. That was the first charge. Yep. So that would indicate to me by the wording that whether they distributed it or not, they would be guilty of that if she consented to it, she consented to the filming, and then they filmed it. They would at least be guilty of using a minor in a sexual performance, even if they meant to just keep the video for themselves. Yeah, I think that this is a, it's a very difficult conundrum uh, for the authorities and people to uh, to look at. Because here's the reason. You know as well as I do that on their 18th birthday, every single day, dozens if not hundreds of women uh, beat a path to pornographers' doors to do videos um, their very first time because they know that everybody knows that uh, 18-year-old women are somehow more desirable than 88-year-old women, right? And... That the pornographers, obviously, there's a large market for this teen porn, right? And sure. uh, so imagine this for a second. You set up a company that uh, just does teen porn, 15-year-old teen porn in Minnesota, um, where you have photographers and, uh, you know, mic guys and, and, you know, the whole deal that are all... 47 months old, older, less than 47 months older than uh, uh, than 15. And so you have this whole operation set up where you can do pornography of 15-year-olds that would be sort of completely consensual in a legal sense if what you're saying is so. I'm not saying they shouldn't be able to do it. I'm just saying look at what's going to happen if, if, we, um, if, if somehow or another the politicians allow this. And are well, we ready and, for and it? That's, I, I'm okay with that. I mean, yeah, nobody wants to make a teen porn shop in any state, and I certainly don't want it to happen in my state. But I, I guess, you know, the act of, of sex between two people is sort of, pardon the pun, but that rite of passing into adulthood. Yeah. And if we go ahead and say that you can do this, if you can go ahead and consent to it legally, then who's to say that well, you can't consent to being filmed? I mean, for example... You know, they're 15 years old and they're on the softball field. They're 15 years old and they're at uh, a music clinic or a concert that they're performing in. And we videotape that all the time. Sure. And Here. we don't have a problem with them consenting to videotaping that particular situation. I can answer they a little bit about the... They're old enough to consent. What happens here? I can answer a little bit about the legal lunacy that I think that they'll probably use here in, in Minnesota. And I think you, you brought it up and stated it earlier, that she can consent with these men to have sex as long as they are 47 months older than her, no, no, more, than, no more, more than 47 months older than her. Well, a video, right, of pornography could be viewed by someone who is more than 47 years old, or 47 months older than her. So she can't consent to have sex with someone who is that much older than her. So how could she possibly consent to have pornography shown to someone who is that much older than her? I can't. And that's, that's well, I mean, that's, I bet that as insane as that argument is, I'm sure it will be come into play. Well, what about the right to so document your own life? Run, what you're saying is that in Minnesota, we would consider a 58-year-old guy 
watching that video, having sex with that girl by distance from anywhere around the world. It's the same thing. It's insane. It's insane. But maybe. And this is the difficulty when you get into sort of uh, trying to limit what people do in the, in, you know, the, the, this is a normal activity that everybody on the planet, minus a few, are going to participate in. I mean, sex, not uh, videotaping it. Um, fortunately, I've managed to miss that, to dodge that particular bullet. But, um, you know, lots of people haven't. Well, well guys, I appreciate it. I, it's obviously strange. I'll hang up and listen the rest of the way, Thanks, but Dave. I appreciate you taking my call. Yeah, I wonder about the uh, poor 19-year-old who may be filming uh, this interaction to prove that it was consensual. I mean, could you imagine if he was just recording this to, to refrain from any rape allegations that may come his way? I mean, doesn't he have the right to record his life uh, in that way to make sure that he's protected legally? Yeah, it's interesting. You'd There was a situation with some, I think it was Kobe Bryant. I'm not 100% sure of my basketball players, but there was a, a basketball player that was uh, that had some rape allegations uh, tossed against him. I bet he wishes he had a video of that particular incident. Mm -hmm. But this is the, the kind of thing. We live in a, a culture where, you know, well, I wouldn't want a video of that getting out. I, just, uh, I was just happy just a moment ago that I didn't have any video out. But... If there's a rape allegation in the offing, I think I'd rather have some video going. Mm -hmm. So tell me again what was what went on today. Well, earlier today I was recording a, a group of individuals in Keene, New Hampshire, and I was across the street uh, from the courthouse. Uh, they were out front of a local restaurant called Pedraza's, where a few of them uh, might work. I'm not entirely sure about that. And uh, as I was walking away, I was uh, headed back home when one of the men who was on trial earlier, who was arraigned earlier, yeah. uh, came up this to is me. the alleged assaulter. Yes, the alleged assaulter uh, who injured a man, um, hospitalized him, came over to me to say, uh, hey, uh, would you mind not filming me? And I said, well, I think it's important to film you because you're violent and <laughs> I'm afraid to be around you. Uh, so if you're going to be buddy, around me. Your news. Yep, yeah. <laughs> so if you're going to be around me, I'm going to be filming you. And uh, he said, well, it's illegal to film minors, and you were just filming that child over there. The police are on their way. Right. I said, you called the police on me. Well, no, it doesn't matter who called the police, he, he says. Didn't, yeah, he said he didn't call the police, but <laughs> <laughs> I would never do such a thing. Right. However, I did record him on the, his phone uh, just minutes before that. So I love how these people me. now think that they're legal geniuses. Wrong again! <laughs> Whoops, I called the police. So he uh, he calls the police, and as he's walking over, um, and the police no, are he, on their way. We don't know who he called, but... Right. Way, I believe it actually is illegal to misuse police resources. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he, there's a lot of police that need to be arresting then. <laughs> yeah. He thought that I was committing some sort of crime by filming the youngster, which mm -hmm. it was incidental. I, I wasn't trying to film any youngster. That's not what I was after. You're filming was, him. Yeah, I was and filming him. One would assume right. his uh, female partner who happens to have a baby on her hip. Right. And so um, then a car stops in the middle of the road uh, and a a gang of like three or four other people uh, emerge behind the car while the the driver is making threats to me, and I uh, try and get closer to hear his threats Let's on hear the camera. Threats, yeah. And uh, the assaulter, the alleged assaulter, uh, get got in between me and the vehicle, so trying I wasn't to able de -escalate to de-escalate the situation. Right. So I wasn't able to hear uh, what sort of threats were being made. And then the driver parks his car, gets out of the um, car, and comes towards me. While, a, you know, this throng is surrounding me. You were surrounded. Yeah. And uh, so I'm trying to film everything that's happening around me. Uh, meanwhile, this man gets so uncomfortably close. That's what I'm saying. When he knocks the camera off of my tripod, uh, out of my hands and onto the ground, breaking it, uh, breaking pieces of it. Um, well, then there's there's a little more. There's another assault that happened uh, quickly thereafter. I, I pull out my video camera uh, on my cell phone, start live streaming. I want to hear about it um, mm -hmm. in just one second. You can give us a call, 855-450-3733. What do you think about, I don't know, kids being ending up in video in public? Is this immoral? Is this bad? Is this wrong? Do we have it all wrong? 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. 
When leading hardwood mills have excess flooring to sell, there's only one place they go. Lumber Liquidators, America's number one specialty retailer of wood flooring. This week, get amazing deals like gorgeous three-quarter inch solid pre-finished Brazilian cherry hardwood for only $2.99 per square foot. Or quick click strand bamboo for 37% less than other stores. Plus, get first quality laminate flooring for 49 cents. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find your local store. Special 12-month financing is available. Hurry, these deals end Tuesday. Have you ever noticed how many sick and miserable people there are? I'm serious. I'm talking about people of all ages who have conditions and diseases which affect their quality of life. Most of them seem to have one thing in common, polypharmacy. That is dependence on multiple prescription drugs with side effects that actually make them sicker and sicker, not healthy. The good news is that people are waking up to the fact that if you supply your body with all of the nutrients it requires... If you want to move to the free state you're looking for some real estate well i know a guy who's really great it's the realtor mark warden do you want a home with 20 acres a lakeside cabin any takers for renters buyers and sellers too mark warden is the guy for you porcupinerealestate.com if you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, July 31st, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,295, silver opened at $20.66, and Bitcoin is trading around $574. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication for all your print and audio duplication needs. Mention promo code LIBERTY and get 5% off all DVD and CD duplication jobs. Online, affordablesound.com. Or give them a call, 512-459-5253. In the news, the United Nations has accused Israel of seriously violating international law after it struck a school located within a refugee camp, killing at least 15 people, mostly women and children, as they slept. That word from a report published by The Guardian. The UN Secretary General said the attack, which left 100 more injured, was outrageous and unjustifiable, and demanded accountability and justice. The attack left 17 dead, including a journalist, according to Gaza health officials. On Tuesday, the United States and the European Union announced plans to inflict a new round of sanctions against Moscow. The broader sanctions include limiting access to EU capital markets for Russian state-owned financial institutions, imposing an embargo on arms trade, and reducing Russia's access to sensitive technologies, particularly in the oil sector. In a speech in front of the White House, Obama said the U.S. will block the exports of specific goods and technologies to the Russian energy sector. Albuquerque Police Department is considering scrapping use of its MRAP armored vehicle after opposition from the public and negative press attention that accused the country of turning into a militarized police state. The department acquired the military-style vehicle through the Department of Defense's 1033 program which allows law enforcement agencies to obtain war vehicles used to hunt insurgents in Iraq and Afghanistan. An ACLU report warned that such vehicles are part of militarized policing in which Americans are treated like wartime enemies. Support for Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live each Friday night at 9 o'clock Central Time. That's CoreyMooreShow.com. And support for Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. This is the Liberty Beat. 
for Thursday, July 31st, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. A Houston-based psychiatrist has been arrested and indicted for charges related to organizing a human trafficking organization. KLTV reports that Riaz Mascuri was arrested by the Gregg County Sheriff's Office and booked under a federal warrant. Mascuri and three other men stand accused of bringing female dancers from India and forcing them to dance for clients 12 to 14 hours a day, seven days a week. The group reportedly ran the operation in New York and other cities between 2008 and 2010. Now, court documents state the men would confiscate the victims' passports and keep them captive in hotels, threatening them with violence if they attempted to escape. Mascuri was released on a $300,000 bond and is scheduled to appear before a judge in a New York City federal court on August 1st. Biotech companies Monsanto, Dow Chemical, DuPont, and others have spent more than $80 million since 2012 towards fighting mandatory labeling of genetically modified foods. That's according to a report issued by the Environmental Working Group on Tuesday. Part of the campaign includes the launch of an interactive website called GMO Answers, a broad effort to win over consumers. Scott Faber, executive director of Just Label It, which supports mandatory GMO food labeling, said the industry is losing. The New York Post has reported that more than 2,500 9-11 first responders have been diagnosed with cancer. New data from Mount Sinai Hospital's World Trade Center Health Program reveals a rise in cancer rates, including 1,655 rescue workers. When combined with firefighters and EMTs with cancer related to 9-11 cleanup, the total comes to 2,518. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live Sunday afternoons at 4 o'clock on 1370 a.m. in Austin. That's 1370 a.m. on Sundays at 4. And support comes from Cabo Bob's, non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Online, CaboBobs.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, July 31st, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. According to attendees of a karaoke night at Charlie's Bar and Grill, a man 30 seconds into singing Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror better get his act together and get it together fast. He f***ed up from the get-go. Coming in late on that first line singing totally off-key. He needs to shape up and get his head in the game pronto. Na, 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 Honestly, he needs to get serious right now or get the f*** off the stage. I mean, what does he think this is? Living on a prayer? Claiming that this is turning into a train wreck, eyewitnesses say they are embarrassed for the man who has missed several key words despite staring at the prompter the entire f***ing time. You know, he could hit every last note for the remainder of the song, and I still don't know if that would be enough to turn this thing around. Man in the Mirror is the big leagues, so you better show up with your a game. This is the Onion News Network. Of shopping you would normally do, you can do, get the same prices, get the same service you'd normally get, simply by going through shop.freetalklive.com, add an extra click to your experience, and Free Talk Live gets a bonus. And it adds up to a sizable amount for us. And that's, you know, we have to kind of, um, we have to spread out our risk as far as, uh, you know, Free Talk Live and advertisers go. The fact is, Many advertisers won't touch Free Talk Live with a 10-foot pole. And we have ideas on this program that are far off the mainstream. And advertisers, they want that banal, boring, middle-of-the-road, toe-the-line stuff. A lot of them have left talk radio generally and gone for sports radio. Of course, now we're seeing a lot of meltdowns in the sports radio world where you know people get called dirty names and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, there's just no safe place for these advertisers because apparently opinions can upset some people. That's what it comes down to is opinions are upsetting. And, you know, here on Free Talk Live, we've got opinions just like everybody else. So it's Mark with you. And Johnson. And Derek J. Now, Derek J., you had an incident today that we were talking about uh, just briefly about, um, well, some guy who had an assaulted an activist that was do, doing some chalking here was uh, up at a court case. You had uh, sort of filmed him to see whether, you know, he. it looked like he was going to do something the judge had ordered him not to do, like moments after he had ordered him not to do it. And you just, you know, you're a newsman, and 
you're going to get some news, and the guy didn't like it. He said, uh, you can't can't film me and my baby, or whatever, and so he used the child as kind of a uh, way not to get uh, filmed here, and then an assault occurred. So can yeah. you tell us real quick what happened in the first assault? Yes, so the at, during the first assault, uh, this man came over to me. Now, this uh, is one of the, the entourage that was following this guy, sort of showed up. Yes, well, this man pulled up out of nowhere um, in the middle of the road and stopped his car in the street to make some verbal threats at me. Uh, Something about if I film his grandson, I'm going to have a problem, but I couldn't really make out what he was saying. And then the assaultive man who was just in court said, uh, and that could happen. And I'm like, well, what, what could happen? I didn't quite hear this guy, so I tried to get a little closer um, that I was blocked from doing so, and then I was completely surrounded within just a couple of seconds by this throng of uh, people. Yeah, it was, I don't know, I don't want to exaggerate six. I mean, that feels like yeah. a, a surrounding situation. Yeah, there were six people, and one of by them the way, had... the kid, cute as a button. Yeah, the kid was so <laughs> cute, and it's a shame that uh, the person who I presumed to be his mother uh, was so angry and, and violent She uh, was with so her upset um, and, and so sort of out of her normal space that uh, instead of... Instead of sort of cussing at you, she cussed about her kid. Don't film my effing kid. You know, like yeah. it was just like sort of like who would say that about? Didn't seem kid? very motherly. It's, it's, well, it's I, funny that she did the, the stereotypical camera thing too. That she ran. Don't film my kid. Let me bring my kid towards your camera. I'm closer and closer and closer. So that you're only filming my kid. Nothing else. Yeah. Why you know, do they do that? I don't know because I asked her right after she yelled at me for filming her kid. I said, Miss, who brought the kid on camera? And, you know, the answer is her. I was walking away. Right. She, the, the kid was not on camera until she walked is, into it. The idea in their minds is sort of the kid's a talisman like a garlic or a cross or right. whatever. <laughs> and uh, you have somehow have to react to well, this. I, I think what it is is that they're trying to, like, oh, I bet we can get them. We can get them by bringing the kid out, and then they won't be able to film us. And we'll use our children in such a way as to prevent the filming. And that's just despicable. Like, what was going to happen it's if really you had gross. turned off this camera? Because I don't know. you got two assaults on this. Uh, right. So I don't know what would have happened because while I was uh, speaking with this young woman and uh, trying to hear and video what was going on around me, uh, the man from the car had apparently parked, gotten out, and walked towards me. Uh, I didn't see him before he got just inches from my face. And because he I, also didn't want to be on camera, right? Right. <laughs> and I, fi- I turned the video camera around and in, in that to film him. And in that moment, he knocked it off of the tripod and onto the ground. And once it was on the ground, um, a man named uh, Justin Paquette, who I've blogged about on Freekeen.com in the past, uh, he... Uh, stepped on the camera so that I couldn't uh, retrieve it. You know, I was planning to pick it back up and keep recording because you know now I've been assaulted. I I need that camera for my protection. Uh, but he was keeping me from it, so I did the smart thing and pulled out my phone, pushed the bamboozer button, and immediately I was recording and live streaming to the internet. How long do you think it was between um, recordings? Because I saw both of these videos and it didn't seem like there was long between them. Five seconds. Wow. I would say it was about five seconds before I was recording. You are a gunslinger. <laughs> that is awesome. I've practiced, and I have, I <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. I have my uh, Bambuser app right on the front screen on my phone, and I've practiced pulling it out to see how how quickly can I be live streaming to the internet in an emergency situation. Uh, you could tell that the young lady who uh, had the child was pretty upset by this because she, at the very beginning of the live streamed video, says, really? <laughs> like, I thought I had just destroyed your technology, but the technology lives. She gets so upset because she can't imagine a world where uh, a person could have a second video camera. I mean, could you imagine? And this is incredibly valuable because the one video sort of doesn't show, uh, it doesn't give a full picture. Like, the, you know, just sort of bump you know, like the camera goes off. Mm-hmm. But when you have that second one and you're sort of able to dialogue about what occurred moments ago mm-hmm. and then, uh, you know, get another video of what uh, th- then occurs after that, the second assault, and I want to hear about that in a second, um, The you're able to sort of tie it together because the one video is useless in and of itself. The second video isn't that useful either. But when they're stuck together, it's really a lot of evidence of what happened. And, and frankly, I think... a you know, I mean, I think 
cameras are valuable even beyond filming government bureaucrats, but filming individuals because the whole demeanor here changes. Go ahead. Well, yeah, the the demeanor changes when people are on video. I believe that people should be on their best behavior when they're being recorded. One would hope. But others um, seem to sink into their worst behavior, like these individuals. Well, I never felt um, more endangered as when both cameras were disarmed. Uh, That happened when I pulled out this uh, live streaming app and began doing a selfie-style recording, saying, here I am, Uh, this man just knocked the camera off of the tripod, Uh, this man uh, was keeping the camera from me, and as I'm recording the second man, he says, get that effing camera out of my effing face yeah and uh, he grabs at it swipes at it a couple times and then is able to dislodge it from my hand and he hands the phone over to james michael phillips the man who's just been arraigned the original assaulter the original uh, assaulter who just moments ago was in court for an arraignment for assault now implicating him in the crime of uh, james michael phillips then dropping tossing the phone to me you know in a way that a bully would do like oh here's your phone back but he's really tossing it at my feet on the sidewalk while it splits open into pieces Mm. that's what happened so you know now my my camera and my cell phone are both on the ground in pieces and here comes the keen police who are arriving because this gang called them so i'm saying okay uh, they'll tell them their story they immediately rush to the police and complain, he's been filming us. He was filming a minor. He was filming a child. And the officer who knows me says, hi, Derek. Yeah, unfortunately, he's allowed to record you. You're in public. Right. He's allowed to record your child, too. Yeah, I get it. You don't want stalkers. You don't want crazy people following you and, and drooling while they're recording your child. But that's not what's happening here. This guy is across the street. You advance towards him, he's got every right to record you. And then he came over and got my side of the story, and uh, I think it's pretty clear from the video exactly what transpired. I got a couple of shots of the police arriving, the police there, and uh, the local business owner who James Michael Phillips was not allowed to talk to is in one of those pictures. So hopefully um, all of those will surface. They're on freekeen.com if people want the the full article or at derekj.me. And this citizen journalism is, I think it's immensely valuable for society, a civilized society, because the cops can't be everywhere. The big time journalists can't be everywhere. And you got to be able to shine a light on bad behavior if you want it to stop. I don't want bad things to happen to these people. I want them to apologize, to cease the bad behavior, and start acting like grown-ups. I think Free Keen should come up with and uh, annually award a uh, the award for the most classy behavior. <laughs> it, like a satirical? Yes. Uh, sarcastic? There you go. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones adds, This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crash is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. 
or the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30%, while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us, and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. I'm Mark Stevens of the No Stay Project. And are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're only helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, spread it. So get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Live. 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever you want to talk about on this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Johnson. Derek J. has uh, run off after he's told us our, his story, so um, we wish him the best. He's had a long day, and I can certainly understand why he might want to get a nap or go relax. Mm. 855 450 Free. That's the ProXPN call-in line. And if you value your online privacy, you need ProXPN. ProXPN is a global virtual private network that allows all of your online data to be encrypted back and forth from your computer, even before it gets to your ISP. Do you know ISPs uh, keep records of every site you visit and every search you make for going on at least six months and in some cases up to five years. Those records can be obtained by anyone with a court order. So don't be surprised if at some point it becomes normal for, say, part of a job interview. They want to look at your Internet history from the last six months. You know, this is how it is with credit ratings now. When I was looking for jobs, no one ever asked me what my credit rating was. Without a service like ProXPN, everything you do online is tracked back to you, from downloading movies and music to every single web page you go to. With ProXPN, you simply download an app for Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android, even Linux, though the setup's a little different for Linux, and then just connect to the Internet, and you're protected. No one can track you or spy on you, and even and one account works for all your devices simultaneously. No need to have a separate account for each device. Just go through ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use the promo code FTL20, and you'll get 20% off of the price of their premium account, which you get... Um, 
if which if you get the annual plan adds up to about five dollars a month with the premium account you get unlimited bandwidth servers all around the world to access from and the ability to privately torrent get past regionally blocked websites and this is important proxpn doesn't keep records of your online habits at all you get all of this with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee go to proxpn.com slash ftl use promo code ftl20 and get the security and privacy that you've got a right to proxpn.com slash ftl let's go to robert i don't know where robert's calling in from listening online robert you're on free talk live hi Mark. hi johnson how you doing hey doing all right all right uh yeah geez, it's too bad to, i see that derek left but I, but my question is you know i understand about you know how accountability works you know, I mean, especially when it comes to the police. Sure. But, you know, why wouldn't that same thing apply with the public? If somebody, you know, like such as what's happened today, where, you know, uh, what Derek was, you know, the guy grabbed him, and it's not the first time that this has happened. Why would you not want to at least uh, uh, somehow hold this guy accountable? Me? Or... Oh no, Derek is what I meant. Oh, I think Derek's going to hold this guy uh, accountable. He we're still um he's still been sort of discussing what his plans are, but um you know, I I, I you know, the the liberty movement, the the ideas of liberty include peace, freedom, and personal responsibility. And right. these people need to be responsible for their acts. Now, I don't think that necessarily... They don't want to be responsible, they don't want to be peaceful, and they don't want to be held accountable, that's for sure. <laughs> right. I think that um, I think that there's better ways to hold them accountable than, say, running it through the ju judicial system, but what are those ways? Um, and so, I mean, I think that... You know, what I would like to see from these people is a, a heartfelt apology, which, of course, is difficult to know whether an apology is heartfelt or not. Somebody could just say the words. Um, recompense for broken items. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I promise not to do this sort of thing again. Well, yeah, one would hope that that would happen. But, I mean, I'm thinking that that's kind of uh, unrealistic at this point. But what, an apology? I, I, guess I, would, I guess I would recommend... I mean, and I'm just a knucklehead off the street. That uh, you know, that maybe uh, maybe need to have one one person in doing some filming. Maybe you need to have a couple, two or three other people there doing some filming. You know, just you know, for the protection. Because I think that had to have been scary when 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 Derek had lost you know his phone, and then now now it's now it becomes his word against their word. You Indeed. know what I mean? Oh yeah, this is a oh. this is a, a horrifying situation because anything could have happened after that second phone, um, you know, got broken. Um, the second camera got broken, and you're kind of sort of left wondering what had hap what would have happened if these people hadn't called the police, because there's no record. It's just a he said she said situation. If, 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 I'm wondering what would have happened if uh, if that, if she on the line was there. Would they have, would, would Raphael had done that or? If it was a Boston station or something, I'm thinking probably not. But yeah, I I don't know. People can go find out more at uh, f free t uh, excuse me at uh, freekeen.com if they want to take a look and uh, see what uh, you know what happened with Derek J today. It's uh, freekeen.com. Robert, I do appreciate the call. Thank you so much. This is it's unfortunate, right? Like there's this is the lashback. This right. is the. Um, the Gandhi quote, you know, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. I haven't seen, I've, I've seen I guess I've seen some winning, but uh, I think we're full on in stage three here in Keene, New Hampshire. I, I just think more people need to be for sure, because this seems to be the thing that, that gets them most riled up is the, is the filming. They don't want to be filmed. A lot of these people really don't want to be filmed, and the education's got to get out there. I mean, it's got to be made more public, and more people have to be aware, hey, you're in public, and if you're doing things in public, you do not have an expectation of privacy when you are not on private property. Period. 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 Get That's over true. it. You don't have that expectation of privacy. If you are out in public, you can be filmed. You will be filmed by the government. You will be filmed by other people. You will be filmed by security cameras and stores. You are being filmed if you are in public. It's happening. 
And it's interesting. It's the people holding the cameras that seem to be the biggest problem. It's not that, you know, cameras can be anywhere. Right. You don't know. Um, I mean, at this point, uh, well, have you cameras heard, can be heard, in people's glasses. Have you heard of it? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I was going to bring up is have you heard any of the stories that have gone on around Google Glass? I mean, people have been attacked in bars yeah. because they've been wearing this Google Glass. So, Indeed. You know, uh, it's just, yeah, people with cameras in general. And really, how much of a moron do you have to be to not have a problem with the cameras by the, being placed all over the place by the government, but have a problem with p private people carrying them? How stupid do you have to be? When the government has the cameras, they're the biggest problem. Don't you get it? Well, it's uh, people have the biggest problem with uh, folks holding cameras, and I think it's the biggest problem mostly with people holding a camera up as opposed to having right. in their glasses, they're holding it with their hand. Um, but I mean, we have seen some crazy incidences with uh, Google Glass out there, right? And I mean, I guess it's just vanity, personal vanity. Oh, they're trying to do something terrible with me. B people don't care about you, man. Yeah. If you just go along the street, you're just background noise. I mean, it's I can like understand people if people are following you onto your private property or trying to follow you into a restroom or something like that, then it starts to get a little weird, I guess. But if you're out in public, shut up. You're wrong. Outside? You're wandering around outside. It's like these people that had a problem with Google going around, taking their trucks around. Oh you my caught God! Me in one of your pictures. Ridiculous. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Free Talk Live. Are we ever going to get past this? Eight fifty five four fifty free. Spring time is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, Hoodia and Metabolic Complex, and Pro Metabolic, all on sale now. Also, the Anti-Parasite Intestinal Freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus Stevia Liquid Sweetener and the Super Enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot reach signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? Excuse me. There is no video or audio allowed in this hospital. Now, I have work today. This is you ain't gonna make. Wait, now. Wait a minute. Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855-450-3733. You could use Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. It's a live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Johnson. You can call in whatever you want to talk about here on Free Talk Live. I want to talk about my magic mud. My magic mud is uh, sort of a natural, all-natural, teeth whitening and mouth cleansing powder so it's called my magic mud because it is black as midnight <laughs> and you dip your uh, toothbrush in it and you get this powder and you you know just two minutes you'll see a difference in whitening in the first application now this isn't whitening like chemical whitening this is uh, getting all the stains off of your teeth whitening and it is enormously effective interestingly it's not as abrasive as uh, even baking soda or you know toothpaste. It doesn't have that uh, the, the grit that one might expect because it says you know it's getting uh, the stains off. You think it's grit? No, no, it actually it's not. But um, it, it's it's very effective. You can go watch a video from biological dentist Dr. Griffin Cole at mymagicmud.com. It was created <laughs> by Jessica Armand, a liberty loving homeschool mother of three. And she's done a great job with this. And I'm, you know, it, people are clamoring for it. It's a great, uh, it's it's very effective. And what I love about it is, is my mouth feels cleaner than it's ever felt before. I will never do without my magic mud from mymagicmud.com again because it just. It, when it gets in, it removes the plaque, detoxifies the mouth of that bacteria and that that cause cavities. And my my teeth are always just sort of that clean feeling you're is done it, when you're brushing. Is it made from charcoal or is it something else? It is um, charcoalized uh, coconut husks oh, interesting. and bentonite clay. So this is the coconut husks are what they use in the best charcoal filters. Mm -hmm. And so every all the stuff that goes through water that uh, the you know the charcoal grabs right. and kind of moves out, it does the same stuff with the bacteria and bad stuff in your mouth. Right, just grabs it and gets it out of there. So your mouth is significantly cleaner. If the bacteria aren't in there, they can't eat your teeth holes in your teeth. This is why it's an incredibly effective mouth cleanser. Go check it out, please. Take my word for it. I couldn't be more adamant. My Magic Mud is awesome. MyMagicMud.com. So we're, I guess we're on sort of a, a jag about uh, kids here, and um, this is from RawStory.com. It's from a couple of days ago by Arturo Garcia. Cops accuse Florida woman of neglect for letting a seven-year-old walk, her seven-year-old son walk to the park alone. Police in Port St. Lucie, Florida, arrested a local woman and charged her with child neglect for allowing her seven-year-old son to walk to a park on his own. Um, this is reported by WPTV. My own bondsman, I guess that's the guy who paled her out, said my parents would have uh, been in jail every day, Nicole Ganey was quoted as saying, adding that she paid a bond of nearly $4,000 before being released from jail. Ganey's arrest... This past Saturday afternoon, this isn't even an ROR situation. She's not even releasing this woman on her own recognizance. Right. She's so dangerous, she's got to give them $4,000 to get out of jail. She was allegedly participated, um, excuse me, precipitated by an encounter between her son, Dominic, and someone at a local public pool. 
The boar was walking past the facility at the time on the way to Sportsman Park, about a half a mile from his home, carrying a cell phone that his mother gave him and to allow her to check up on him. They gave me a couple of questions. They asked me a couple of questions, and I, I got scared, so I ran off to the park. And they called the cops, said Dominic. So I guess he was going by the pool, and somebody said, Hey, little boy, what are you doing? This is just me guessing here. Where are you going? You're too young to be out by yourself. And he got a little scared of the question line of questioning, and he, he ran off and went to the park. Uh, sometime later, an unidentified officer approached the boy in the park, which he at which point he took him back to his home and arrested the elder Ganey, this is the mother. According to PTV, her arrest report noted that the officer's argument that numerous sex offenders reside in the vicinity of the park. He just basically kept going over there's pedophiles and this and that, and basically the park wasn't safe and he shouldn't be there alone, Nicole Ganey said. PTV, re- now this sounds like a failing of the police, right? <laughs> mind you. Right. P- PTV reported that the Port St. Lucie County State's Attorney um, Office assesses the types of encounters on a case-by-case basis since there's no legal age requirements for allowing children to walk alone. Now, first off, should she have been arrested? Because if he, the officer's claim is there's, um, you know, well, we I need to arrest you because there are pedophiles in the area. Well, then that's information she may or may not have had. Is she an unfit parent because she didn't know that there are, uh, you know, I mean, he's giving her new information. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know whether I think that that's a good idea or not that her kid walks uh, back and forth to the park. I mean, I think that generally he should be able to do that regardless of who's around. I know when I was like 14 years old, I went to New York City by myself. So 14. I was at six years old. I was riding my bike to the next street over where my yeah. friend lived. Yeah, I was doing tons of that stuff. But I was this is what's going on here. Rural Connecticut. I mean. This was this was suburban Bradenton, yeah. Florida, you know, Braden, Tucky, home home <laughs> of the heroin needle. I mean, good lord. Um, watch PTV's report here. This is uh, where they aired. So anyway, I've got other news. I, I don't I don't mean to interrupt this, but I I have another news. There was a, another recent story. I don't know if you've heard about. It. Did you hear about the uh, in Bradenton? Like this is really recent news. The couple that was caught just having sex on the beach. Yes, there was a. <laughs> There'd be a video recording. Just having sex. Braden Tucky. We love our Bradenton listeners. <laughs> they can't say anything to me. I grew up there. That's why Fark has a Florida tag. <laughs> in Fark. a similar Com. incident in South Carolina earlier this month, McDonald's employee Deborah Harrell was reportedly fired from her job and separated from her nine-year-old child by the state after being arrested for letting the child play alone at a park with her own cell phone for security purposes. Um, this is that um, Harrell was uh, allowed to work uh, following a misunderstanding with the company that reunited her with her child. Um, so. I mean, where is this age? I mean, this we, this needs to be codified in law. If you're going to arrest people for child endangerment, you need to say, well, you know, there need to be this age to walk this far by themselves on a road unattended because this child's seven. I would be, my child's six. I don't know what kind of growth Jack's going to go through in the next year, but I got to say, I would be uncomfortable with letting my son, my six-year-old son right now just wander a side of a road right by himself i would right. but that's a different parenting choice than what this woman made right and i don't know i think to some extent we have to be left to do make the parenting choices we would make in order to see what the results are well how else are we going to see what the results are right now what i would let my son do is walk to the neighbor's house which is through the woods right uh, from my house yeah yeah sure you know, I'll, I'll be happy to show you the path and then uh, you know we can you can go over there at the end of at school when school's out and and play and that kind of thing i wouldn't have a problem with that but i guess i guess it's the cars that d- concern me on the mm-hmm. side of the road but i'm sure jack would get along on a, a sidewalk just fine yeah so i don't know I, th- this woman who should be telling her how she can raise her 7 year old i guess no one. I mean, I mean, really, it's it's. I'm just thinking back to my own childhood, where I definitely was able to walk up and down the street, ride my bike, whatnot, big wheel, whatever you want, you know, whatever it was at whatever particular age. I, I did have one, I think, incident like sometime around Halloween where I did almost get whacked by a car, but mm-hmm. you know, it didn't happen. You know, it's like there's so much stuff that. Our generation as kids, you know, we had lawn darts. You know, we were yeah. allowed to play outside. You know, 
till the streetlights came on, and sometimes we'd yeah. push it past that. Right. I mean, out in forts where it looked like homeless people lived at some point. Yep. If that's where we found the pornographic magazines. You know, you you could play baseball without helmets. You know, I, like <laughs> you could ride a bike without a helmet. I, I mean, and somehow this whole generation that you know, I'm 43. I'm sure that the similar similar experiences happen to most people in my generation. Probably most people that were older than me too. Are we that messed up? Is it so? Is it so ridiculous that this seven year old should be able to walk to the park? What do you think? If you think that this is an appropriate response, arresting this woman by the Port St. Lucie authorities, please give me a call eight five five four five zero three seven three three. I want to know. I want to understand. Eight fifty five four fifty free free talk live or LRN.FM. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on Liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at Liberty.me. I love being a member of Liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. When you're coping with bad news and the news media come calling, and they will, don't clam up. As notorious political figures find out the hard way, the cover-up can be worse than the crime. So get out in front of unfavorable news about your company, your group, or organization, or yourself. The sooner you confront a negative story, the sooner it will be over. Responding as quickly to negative stories as you do to positive ones enhances your credibility. Hiding embarrassing information or lying will do more damage than damage control. Never stonewall. Tell your side of the story, use specifics, and detail what corrective action has already been taken. Respond in kind. If the issue is emotional, don't sound like a cold, unemotional Mr. Spock. For more tips on critical communication skills for the way things are now, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com 
Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. You can call in, talk about whatever you want to talk about here on this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Johnson. We have been uh, talking about, well, child neglect in this case. Um, This is a situation in Port St. Lucie. It's similar to some that have gone uh, gone on around the United States, but this is Port St. Lucie in Florida where a woman allowed her seven-year-old to walk about a half a mile to the park with she gave him a cell phone so that she could check up on him and uh, somebody thought that this was unacceptable called it into the police the police came um, arrested her because they uh, the police officer kept saying there's pedophiles in the area which of course you know she wouldn't necessarily have known um, now this wasn't even a release on the our own recognizance situation she had to pay four thousand dollars in bond just to get out and I'm beginning to wonder, are we parents at all anymore? Do we get to make decisions at all about our kids? Or is it just the government? We're proxies for the government raising the kids the way they say. Now, there's no law that says um, how old a kid can be to go to the park by themselves or anything like that. Maybe there will be next week. Who knows? We've talked a lot about uh, Bitcoin. Should your kids be allowed to buy Bitcoin? <laughs> should they? Should children be allowed to buy Bitcoin? And if they are going to buy Bitcoin, where are they going to get it from? They're going to get it from ExpressCoin.com because it is really the best choice for buying Bitcoins or several cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, Darkcoin, whatever it is that, you, you know, sort of cryptocurrency you're looking to get. ExpressCoin.com is the place to do it. It's easy, fast, completely legal. Their licensed money services business, um, inexpensive. As a matter of fact, if you use coupon code FTL, you can get up to $40 of cryptocurrency at no fee. So that way you can try it out, see what it's like. You know, the prices have been fluctuating. Some people made a bunch of money on on Bitcoin today. I haven't been watching the prices of the other cryptocurrencies, but some people made some good money buying and selling Bitcoin today. And a lot of people are doing, you know, sort of doing commodity trading with it. But you can buy things on hundreds if not thousands of websites at this point uh, many major stores you can go and uh, and buy gift cards through gift.com or negifter.com it's uh, it's amazing bitcoin is becoming a real it's it's growing into being a real currency and you can get yours by going to expresscoin.com do it from your smartphone by downloading the app at expresscoin.com yes you can do it in canada and uh, you can go to a local credit union in your town that has shared branching. Deposit money there. Within a business day, you'll have your cryptocurrency. Use coupon code FTL. Get up to $40 of cryptocurrency at no fee at expresscoin.com. We, uh, th- this situation with this woman, I, I think is, uh, I, I don't know. I, I think it's scary that this lady is being arrested, I assume, that her child is uh, that she has some I mean has her child been taken from her or are they just going to arrest her I don't know they, they don't say that specifically maybe the is dad is there another parent yeah is there another parent in the picture would be yeah. the next question maybe maybe that's the situation I don't know what age should a child be able to walk to the park if it's not seven and seven is kind of a I think there's a lot of difference between developmentally between a kid who's turned seven and a kid who's about to turn eight. Right. Every year it gets less and less over time, but there's a big difference even in my son from six to six and a half. He's not even quite six and a half. So five months of development in his uh, six years. I, it's, I guess that's his seventh year, actually, when he turns six is the end of his sixth year. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, but, you know, there's a lot of development that goes on. I don't know how old this child is, but should an eight-year-old be able to walk to the park? Should a nine-year-old be able to walk to the park? There's a situation in South Carolina where a woman, because she didn't have any money for daycare, 
would let her nine-year-old stay at the park all day with a cell phone just to kind of monitor. I think it really depends on the kid. Some kids, I think they have a lot of control and they, you know, they know where they're at and what's going on. I think other kids are less so. You know, I was having a thought about this the other day. I was, I was thinking I'd like to do, I don't know, some kind of graphic or something like this. But one thing that strikes me is I find that, especially, you know, amongst kids and whatnot, when you're a certain age, that uh, I, I guess where this comes from is I had a particular sort of traumatic high school experience. My high school was a very bizarre uh, boarding school. Um, that was for character education, but I won't get into What's the. What's that mean? Yeah, I won't get Beatings? into. De- I don't want to get into the details of the. You know why the school was awful, but needless to say, that took place. You know, from it's my high school year, so you know, I think from fourteen years old to eighteen years old. And when you think about that as a percentage of your life at the time, when you're starting at fourteen years old, four years, that's like. A th- you know, like almost 33% of your life that up to that point, or, you know, getting, from getting up to 18, it's, yeah, you know, it's almost, it's like, you know, at least like a quarter of your life at that point. More so. So when you, you think about the impact on your memories at the time, how huge that is. And I feel like this is probably true for most people. I would think that even, you know, even as you get to be considerably past high school, that you still probably have a large amount of percentage of your memories where you can still remember things that happened in high school. Because at that point in your life, it was such a large percentage of your lifespan that that happened. And so it has like this sort of distorted impact on your life, total life memories. Like... Those four years matter to me in terms of memories, and a lot has happened to me in the, in the past four years, but I would still say that the four years that I experienced in high school have a much larger life impact in terms of my total memory. It's like a distorted view of the world. I don't think that has to do with just memory. I think that has to do with sort of what's going on, your age, the, peop- you know, the people you're basically in day prison with. Um, in your case, it was uh, you know real prison. Right. And, <laughs> and uh you know the 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 impacts of you're you're essentially tossed into a situation and you have these traumatic experiences over again and Hollywood and the media tells us over and over again that high school is really important. There's mm-hmm. all kinds of movies sure. about high school. There's a fewer about college, but many, many, many about high school. But I think also it's, it's to a certain extent true of college as well. And I just I feel like earlier life memories seem to have a, a larger impact. And it seems like more and more as time is going on, and I think everybody kind of experiences this, where time seems to speed up and time seems to pass sure. more quickly. And I have a feeling that that has to do with the fact that each moment as you get older, each passing moment is a smaller percentage of your life. Let's go to Dave calling in from uh, St. George, Utah. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi. What's on you your mind? You know, I, I think this this poor mother who was arrested in Florida, uh, I think the scary part for me is it sounds as if this police officer just arbitrarily made a decision that there's too many pedophiles in that neighborhood yeah. for the kid to walk a half mile to the park. Yeah, uh, I mean, and at this point, I mean, especially in Florida where people are arrested mile. all the time, there's pedophiles in every neighborhood. Yeah, but but you can see a half mile. It's not that far, right? They, you know, when you say a half mile. But if you go out and mark off a half mile, you could see that kid from your front porch. Yeah, if it was a straight shot. Yep. Well, if you look on the map, it, it is a straight shot. That neighborhood's all square blocks. There's a, a Lutheran church across the street from the park. Uh, apparently, there's a public swimming pool near there where there were lifeguards that yep. scared the kid off to begin with. Uh, and how would this woman be expected to know what this police officer apparently knows is that there's a pedophile in every other house as the kid walks down the street. Aren't there like maps uh, of I, being able to find the pedophiles? I, I never, just looked one up. Know, How many? Po- I tried to look one up for that area and I couldn't find one. Well, I just found area. one. <laughs> and guys, how many por- how many sexual predators do you think that there are in Port St. Lucie, Florida? Uh, I would imagine Total dozens. Twenty three. Two. Two in Port St. Lucie. Two. <laughs> Well, I've got the, now the map I here. Agree. The woman should be locked up for life. <laughs> <laughs> There's all of two. And we don't even know what these people have been charged with specifically because, you know, I mean. You could have been dating his girlfriend in high school that he was 19 and she was 16. 
I've certainly heard those stories in the past. I, I, I don't know how much. I, I don't know. I don't know what the specifics it, it, are of every that happens circumstance. happens a lot where I live here in Utah. Yep, it's uh, parents. The parents get upset that their 15 year old is dating an 18 or 19 year old, and the next thing you know, the kid slapped as a, a sexual predator the rest of his life. Yep, um, and you know, parents aren't going to like it generally aren't going to like it when their their little girl is having sex with anyone, but they can do something about it if that person is uh, above a certain age, and oftentimes they do. Dave, thank you for the call. Well, this police officer is way off the, he's way off the mark. Yep, I, I think that it. This you're absolutely right. This is judgment call. Um, he could have let this lady go with a warning, and uh, he chose not to. So you're absolutely yeah, you right. He could have warned her about the two pedophiles in town. <laughs> All two of them. <laughs> I, I don't know that number. I'd like to hear uh, more on it. Eight fifty five four fifty free free talk live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Do you love coffee as much as I love coffee? Here's a delicious way to drink the best of the best coffee and make a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox Coffee. And you can try a pound for free. All you do is cover shipping. It's organic, shade-grown, top 1% Arabica grade. 10% of future purchases help our efforts to give the gift of human freedom through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, July 31st, 2014. Silver is trading at $20.63 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,293 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $571. Antiwar.com reports, Yesterday, the Israeli military announced a four-hour humanitarian lull in the Gaza Strip, giving civilians in the Strip a chance to go out and try to find food at the marketplaces, or so they thought. Instead, Israel let hundreds of civilians pour into the Shejaya marketplace and then attacked it long before the truce expired, killing at least 17 civilians and wounding 160 others. It was one of several Israeli attacks reported during the four-hour lull, almost entirely focusing on civilian targets and, by all accounts, so far killing exclusively civilians. Displaced civilians were already reeling after Israel attacked a UN-run hospital packed full of other civilians overnight. The Israeli government has yet to respond to the marketplace attack, but continues to talk up escalation of the war. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. 
ballot access news reports, Ed Forshin, also known as N.J. Weedman, an independent candidate for U.S. House in New Jersey's 3rd District, was ruled off the ballot after his petition was challenged. He needed 100 valid signatures. He submitted 200. But his petition was challenged, and election administrators determined that he had only 99 valid signatures. He appealed to the Superior Court in June, but was told that he must go to the State Appeals Court. However, the State Appeals Court will not hear his case unless he pays $3,500 for a transcript of the proceeding before election officials. Fortune says that he should be on the ballot because 1. He does have 100 valid signatures. 2. If he doesn't, it is because election officials gave him a map of the district that had errors in it. 3. Regardless of that, the law says challenges are due 4 days after the petition is submitted, but the Democratic Party official who challenged his petition did not object until six days after, and four, furthermore, the challenge was faxed, and under New Jersey law, that is not a permissible means for a challenge to be filed. You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for t-shirts, precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports, the dispute between Russia and the new Ukrainian government covers several broad areas of dispute, and the German government is reportedly pushing a grand bargain sort of deal to settle everything at once, ending the crisis outright. The German interest is primarily economic. At present, Ukraine has no gas deal with Russia's Gazprom company, and the risk is that later this year Ukraine's stockpile will run out. They'll start siphoning, and Gazprom will be forced to stop using the pipeline altogether, which supplies a large portion of Europe with natural gas, including Germany. It could be a cold winter without this. A key portion of the plan would be to get Gazprom and Ukraine's Naftagaz to agree to a long-term deal, reportedly roughly in line with what Russia was offering when talks broke down. On the issue of East Ukraine, Russia would agree to stop backing the separatists there in return for a promise of significant reforms in the Ukraine. Ukrainian government to grant the regions more autonomy. Again, this was roughly what Russia was pushing for months ago. Ukraine would formally promise to not ever join NATO, and Russia would agree to not object to increased Ukrainian trade with the European Union. Last but not least, Russia would agree to a financial aid package of cash worth what Ukraine would have gotten in rent for the remaining years of its Sevastopol base deal, and in return the international community would recognize Crimea's secession earlier this year as legal, as well as its its accession into the Russian Federation. The primary obstacles are Ukraine's opposition to making a deal with Russia, Russia's reluctance to commit to aid to a government that is openly hostile, and the U.S. opposition to international recognition of Crimea's accession into Russia. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Americans across the nation made their voices heard this week as they demanded more mind-blowing guitar solos. Calling for the solos to be, quote, face-meltingly cool and go on for well over 10 minutes, Americans stressed that all guitar solos from now on should be equally as kick-ass as those in Van Halen's Hot for Teacher and ACDC's Thunderstruck, or even better. It should start out really slow, you know, and then get faster and faster until they're all the way up at the top of the guitar neck and bending the notes like crazy, so it's like, no, 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 and then there's all this awesome pyrotechnic stuff going off in the background. They should all be like that. And in this week's local news, a report noted that on its surface, Glenbrook, Ohio is a small town like any other, a peaceful all-American town. And yet, the report's authors added, if you only look closer, what you find may surprise you. In other news, a man is just having one of those decades where he doesn't feel like doing anything. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live, 855-450 free. You can call in, talk about whatever you want to talk about here on Free Talk Live. That's 855-450-3733. The Skype, our Skype username is lrn.fm. And uh, 
you just have to send us a request on on that, and then we'll uh, we'll approve it, and then you can give us a call. The audio quality is significantly better on Skype, but uh, certainly, you know, call us at eight fifty five four fifty free or Skype LRN dot FM. It's Mark with you and Johnson, and I have breaking news. Mark, what's the breaking news? Just found breaking news. Apparently, the Senate has now, or, or sorry, the House. Uh, voted to approve a bill, a $16.3 billion package to uh, overhaul the Veterans veterans Affairs. So apparently the House voted uh, today to, or voted yesterday, sorry, but it's just coming out now, uh, to approve a bill that would address the widespread spread problems with uh, health care for veterans. Um. I think this. I I would love to see more. I mean, generally, my opinion on legislation is they mess it up. Um, so you know, whatever. Well, I have more if we want to talk about it. Um, well, go ahead. Okay. Well, apparently, House and Senate negotiators unveiled a package to address the problems on Monday. The deal provides ten billion dollars for veterans to see private doctors if they live far away from VA facilities or have to wait for more than two weeks to get an appointment. The package would also provide $5 billion to hire additional medical staff to address crowding problems at VA facilities themselves, with $2 billion more devoted to opening new offices and expanding existing programs. The Department of Veterans Affairs is in the midst of an unprecedented crisis caused by corruption, mismanagement, and a lack of accountability across the board, said Florida Republican Jeff Miller, chairman of the House of Veterans Affairs Committee, and he said in a statement, the VA is in need of reform, and I applaud my colleagues in the House for passing legislation to do just that. The vote was 422. To five. The Senate is expected to approve the measure before leaving for the summer recess at the end of the week. On Tuesday, the Senate, the Senate unanimously confirmed former Procter & Gamble executive Robert McDonald to lead the Veterans Affairs Department. So this there is you go. breaking news. They're just spending more. I mean, well, yeah, it's going to be more money. I sincerely hope it yeah, helps yeah, uh, yeah, people. I mean, if if anybody is owed by the government, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, it's combat veterans. Not to say that every one of these people is combat veterans, but even if you're injured just sort of in day-to-day life there, yep. that's what you believe you're signing up for and then, you know, to get treated like they have, uh, not cool. Let's go to Mark calling in from Colorado. Mark, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, uh, about three weeks ago, you guys were talking about uh, Citizens United and uh, it seemed to have been roundly dissed in the room. And I came to the conclusion that most people really don't seem to understand Citizens United. Um, of course, we know that what the left had to say about it uh, largely wasn't true. The idea that it was about corporations becoming people because... Well, it's corporations about corporations having leaders. speech, right? Well, well, hold on a second. Um, sadly, we know that corporations have been people for a long time legally, so that couldn't have been it. Persons. Um, and yeah. Right. Um, persons, right. Well, you know, Romney uh, famously came out and said, corporations are people too, and you know, all this garbage. Right. Uh, I'm not for that. However, uh, there was a good Cato podcast after the decision okay. that pointed out that what it was really about was about speech being abridged by the uh, by the government at all for arbitrary reasons, and arbitrary reasons in this case being because it's political speech. Hello, is there something wrong with that? Of course there is. The idea that political speech is a special kind of speech that they can abridge is insane, and that's the reason it was struck down. Now... You know, I don't know. I didn't know anything about Citizens United. I gotta say, I mean, I'm just coming into this conversation. I wasn't here when they were originally talking about Citizens United, so I just went to go find out a little bit about it as you're talking about it here. And the first thing that I see, I'm kind of disgusted by, which is that I go to the Citizens United website, and the first thing that comes up is, "Tell President Obama it's time to deploy our National Guard on the border," and that's. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not apologizing for the way the political speech was used. Well, this okay. is what's on their website right now. Yeah. So, but, but, but I, I, I don't care about Citizens United in particular. Okay. The point is that the government is allowed through these scams to decide who can speak and who can't. Sure. And the, what, well, let me, what Citizens United would have done is it would have kept small organizations that are designed to collect money so that ads can be put out 
for the people who give money to them, that being you and me, small organizations, being not able to do it because there's too much gluttonous paperwork required, so you have to hire a whole staff of people to fill out the paperwork. Right. That's what this political speech stuff is supposed to do. It's supposed to keep the rest of us from competing with the Bloombergs and all those crazies. So that's the reason why Citizens United was necessarily struck down. Okay, so usually what Citizens United is used at on this show. Okay, um, so like I don't know. I haven't done the research into Citizens United. Mostly I don't care because a corporation is, a, is an organization as far as I'm concerned. However, corporations tend right, to get— they they tend to get special dispensation from the government. You know, you have uh, you can be in a part of a corporation and not have responsibility right. for your actions in the same way a sole proprietor or uh, partners would be, or, or any other organization of people in business. So what you'll find is is a lot of people on the left really get agitated about this. Now, I believe li the ideas of liberty should be open to those on the right and on the left. I think that we should welcome people in, and so. What I try to use is rhetoric in that circumstance to talk to people in a way that they can understand. Look, the problem isn't that the government made corporations people because the government's going to do whatever it wants whenever it wants to do it every single time. That's what it's done since time began, since, uh, you know, since governments began 9,000 years ago or whatever. They did whatever they wanted to do. Because they're controlled by rich, powerful people. What you, the, the people on the left, need to stop doing is stop wishing that people in government would do the right thing and start working against them. Because people on the left really have this problem. It's huge for them, right. even worse than the people on the right. They're, the people on the left are like, so those, those dirty, rotten scoundrels in Washington, D.C., if we just badger them hard enough and get the right ones in there, they'll suddenly act right. And they've been wrong about this for 150 years. Right. They're just the point, wrong. They're going to keep... They're they're going to keep dumping money into politics, no matter how you make the rules, because they're going to get their lawyers together, and they're going to come up with ways to get around the rules. We keep seeing it. There's more and more money in politics all the time, no matter what rules they make. The big problem is little 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 organizations like Cato, which is not you know they're not huge. They have a, a they're a, huge compared a to Free Talk Live. I'll tell you that. <laughs> they have a remarkably they have a remarkably large footprint for how big they actually are. The same thing goes for a local one called the Independence Institute here in Colorado. And what would happen if a small organization with like 12 people, like the Independence Organization or Independence Institute, had to follow these laws? They could do maybe, if they're lucky, one commercial a year on one topic uh, from a free market standpoint because they have to fill out so much paperwork. They probably couldn't even do it in order to comply with the laws. And the idea is that all the people with all the money, your Bloombergs and your uh, Soros's and all those people, they're going to find a way to get their word out no matter how, how you make the rules. Yep. The people they're happy to spend punish. millions and or billions. Right. They're happy to spend billions to get their message out as long as their competition has to spend the same billions because they've got the money to spend their competition doesn't. I agree with you on that. You I think that that's Ron absolutely Paul right. But um, that's a, that kind of thing is not possible. Like the Ron Paul blimp, for example. That kind of thing is not possible in a world where you screw down the legislation really tight, to where you've got to do reams of paperwork first. Thanks so much for the call, Mark. Appreciate it. You can give us a call too. Whatever topic you want. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. The Pro XPN call in lines or call us. On Skype, username lrn.fm. When leading hardwood mills have excess flooring to sell, there's only one place they go. Lumber Liquidators, America's number one specialty retailer of wood flooring. This week, get amazing deals like gorgeous three-quarter inch, solid, pre-finished Brazilian cherry hardwood for only $2.99 per square foot. Or quick-click strand bamboo for 37% less than other stores. Plus, get first quality laminate flooring for 49 cents. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find your local store. Special 12-month financing is available. Hurry, these deals end Tuesday. Hi, everyone. 
everyone. I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn, and you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, Look for the green box at your favorite store. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. There's going to be no food by February. Oh, that seems a little extreme. I find that hard well, to believe. Well, watch it happen. Hope you find Christ. You oh, mean. good luck, buddy. Thanks. What really turned me away from religion was the fact that most of them are so intolerant and nasty. What do your you mean? life will suck unless you find Jesus. Well, I had Jesus a long time ago, and he didn't really do anything for me, so I got away from that. Right, and I can tell you that uh, if you want to have if you want to have that attitude with people, yeah. like, Good well, you better con- find Christ, or you're going to burn in hell. Yeah. Then uh, you know, <laughs> Good luck converting people. Yeah, I really want to hang out with people like you, there, Keith. <laughs> I really want to hang out with people like you. So I'm sorry to those good Christians out there listening that that aren't like Keith. But it's the it's the loudmouths like Keith that uh, that do real damage to your religion and, and how people feel about it. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from seven to ten Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.fm. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone: two one three four nine three zero three zero eight. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You can give us a call at... 855-450-3733. 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. It's another live edition of Free Talk Live. This one with Mark. And Johnson. Ian, our main host, is off at the fair and uh, doing outreach as he is one to do. And you can give us a call, talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about. I want to tell you about Liberty Stickers. I've got a, car, a sticker on my vehicle. It says, uh, Barack Obama's fired more cruise missiles than all other Peace Prize winners combined. And I got that that uh, from that sticker from LibertyStickers.com. Lots of different uh, stickers over there. I got another one that says, um, the reason the wars won't stop is that they make a killing off of all that killing. 
The people that make the weapons make a killing off of all that killing. And I am proud of the stickers I get there. Now lots of them. You don't have to get all the anti-war ones that I do, but that's uh, that's that's where the direction I lean. It's uh, right here on the, the front page. A copy of the Constitution's free. Freedom isn't. Lead, the other precious metal. The unifying message is liberty. And the left is for war. If the if with big government and the right is for big government, if with war. So there you go. Lots of different options at libertystickers.com. Let's go to the phones and to the fun. It's James in Paradise. James, what's on your mind? Well, speaking of war, may Theodore Dutch Kirk rest in peace. Not sure who that American is. American hero. But I know that uh, World War American. I started, uh, I think it was uh, the day before yesterday, uh, 100 years ago. Yes, and I should like to respond to something you talked about. I was trying to speak of World War II to you, and you insisted on that, that World War One and World War II cannot be spoken of independently of each other, as if I didn't know it's often understood as one being just part two of the other one. I think you know, and but I think that other people far listening more genocidal don't know. Than one. I think you know, but I think okay, people listening but, don't necessarily know. I know, but I, I called in. It's ironically the same thing. Dutch... Uh, when he uh, let his cargo out of the bottom of the plane, actually believed on that day that the war was over, as he saw what he found out as the rest of the people on the plane, what they were letting, dropping out of the Enola Gay was. I see. They didn't know, actually. They knew they had a top-secret mission. They didn't know they were dropping a nuclear bomb that was going to cause a mushroom cloud. That was why they were told to fly away from the thing and don't look back. Uh, he actually thought they were going to quit that day. Unfortunately, they, the United States of America had to do it again three days later because the evil empire of Japan uh, and the the military madmen that declared total war on an entire segment of planet Earth, including the United States of America, they didn't. One wasn't enough to tell them, well, "Okay, we." Quit, bureaucracies we are slow. Three days isn't a lot of time to uh, to to make a decision. Plus, Japan had was, sued for uh, peace was, in the past through Russia. Oh, I know, Sue. That's right. And by the way, at the same time, uh, I brought up Victor Davis Hanson, by the way, a military historian, because uh, eight years ago I asked him on public radio, uh, is that true that Truman dropped a nuclear bomb to scare Russia? And he uh, not only dismissed that as a conspiracy theory, which has been peddled about since the day after the second bomb was dropped. Of course, it's not an original thought of yours or any others like a, a Seymour Hirsch or a, or a Howard Zinn. Or I don't a have a lot like of original that. thoughts. I read stuff. No, but the point is, at the same time that we were dropping uh, atomic, uh, not one but two on Japan, uh, you know that uh, Stalin did what he promised to do on behalf of the Allies, and, and specifically the United States of America. He invaded Manchur Manchuria, and Japan paid dearly for it. Uh, but then Japan finally did quit, because they not only had two bombs dropped on them and two cities leveled in, in less than four days, they had a big problem on their hands called the Russian army uh, on the mainland. But uh, my point is you. another thing I wanted to actually have a chance to respond to you because you had like this almost five-minute long rant in response to a call I had a couple weeks to you, ago to you, uninterrupted because, of, of course, your sidekick hates me. He's a minister, but he, he's full of a lot of hate. That's for sure. Um, he hates me. Because that, I make that hateful guy, for, he's such a hateful that, man. Those, those bombs, but you make excuses like you did yesterday for the attack of a Pentagon, and you went on a long rant by that way. And if that's not defending mass murder by making excuses for them being mad at us defending the Yemeni and Saudi I'm government. Not, it's, you, you can defend any Yemenis you want to defend. I, I have no idea no, what us is. I, I never would. I would never defend or make excuses for the people that attack the Pentagon. I don't care what their excuses is. But the true thing is, it's because they take the Hadith deadly serious. Those uh, sayings and commandments of Muhammad, who is not Allah's messenger and is a false prophet, uh, they take those deadly seriously, and they thought they attacked the Pentagon not because we have uh, we just propped up the Saudi Arabian government or defended. Why don't they attack? Kingdom. Why don't they attack Switzerland? 
Oh, that's great. You mentioned the one and lowliest country on planet Earth, <clears throat> Switzerland, who's never done anything on behalf of anybody but themselves. The same country that I have more uh, – I have almost uh, as low opinion as the Swiss as I do of the Saudi Arabian royal family. By You've got way, a lot Mark, of opinions of a lot of countries, that's for sure. Bed, in the bed, in bed with the Nazis and did absolutely nothing when they knew that a, they were actually the bankers of a genocidal mass murdering regime called the Nazis. You know how many Nazis got away with war crimes and where were they stashed their loot? In Switzerland. Switzerland is uh, – um, you guys are all in, uh, rightfully against big corporations and big banks. That is a big corporation, big bank state. And a uh, I have nothing. Why don't they attack Switzerland? Why would they? Why should they? Switzerland, Indeed. you're damn right. They've never done anything to the Yemenis or the Palestinians or anybody in the Middle East. You're damn right about that. They also, also have never done anything. They've never put their blood and treasure on the line for somebody for no gain other than what is right. But that's a freedom. really important point, Such though, like James. Say, no, Listen, James. Not. This is a really no, important point. Listen. The fact is that the Swiss before, are ahead. as Western and as uh, mm -hmm. you know non-Islamic as any country right. out there, more so even perhaps the United mm -hmm. States, one could argue. However, the, the attackers didn't go after the Swiss. They went after the U.S. Well, the way, the people – I am not done talking. The people that supported – their uh, that, that are supporting their dictators and their kings. That's why uh -huh. these, the Saudis right. and these Yemis attacked 9-11. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't you agree that no, this is blowback? They attacked us. They, okay, just as here, little boy and fat man and little boy were blowback. I never hear you call those blowback. But no, again, they were indoctrinated by a hate preacher named Osama bin Laden and crazies that said they're commanded to take out infidels. And guess Osama who bin Laden's he very was. clear as to what his what he I was know. about. You don't need to repeat this. I don't agree with you at all. You're not even you're not even conceding the fact the fact that they have been indoctrinated by hate preachers. That, that I am conceding that absolutely. No, they not. have hateful Finally, preachers have. out there, but, but their preachers are clear. Not our, not our intervention in the Middle East. Because guess what? Yes, Why it is. That's what those preachers day. talk about. Sure, sure they say bad things about our lifestyles, day. but they talk about the intervention in the Middle East. Well, I didn't get rid of you. So I don't know where you are. This is a mass murder. That's what you're doing. Yep, that's it. I'm, I'm causing mass murder. Thanks. 855-450-3733. <laughs> Got the whole segment. I don't know what he complains about. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Do you ever feel like you live in an alternate universe? As the stock market hits new highs, the middle class are dying. Manipulated financial markets and economic figures, chaos on our border, China and Russia bypassing the dollar. Life is getting ready to change. You need to prepare to thrive in the new economy. Go to babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market.
He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Many Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. Call 800-917-8251. 800-917-8251. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. Mark with you. And Johnson. You can call in, talk about whatever is on your mind. Um, check out ExpressCoin.com. It's the best place to buy Bitcoins or cryptocurrencies of any sort. It's fast, it's easy, it's completely legal, and they've got great rates. As a matter of fact, if you use coupon code FTL, and you can get zero fees for purchases up to $40 at ExpressCoin.com. Whether you use money order, check, wire transfer, or you go to a local credit union and that has shared branching and get them there. You can get your Bitcoins within a business day that way. It's ExpressCoin.com. Go to, uh, you can go there and use your smartphone. Download the app at ExpressCoin.com and use your smartphone. It's available in Canada too. ExpressCoin.com. Let's go to John, calling in from Nevada. John, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, Mark. Hey. Um, I wanted to make a com- I wanted to make a comment on what you were saying about the VA administration, where you said that you know if anybody was owed money, they are. Um, you pointed out in the past that these are people who have volunteered to take the orders of liars and thieves. I, well, I have uh, that, I have been unable to rebut that statement. Actually, I have never sort of uh, genuinely said it myself. I kind of dodge it and dance around it. But uh, people, veterans, have called in this show and said that uh, soldiers are nothing but uh, paid killers working for liars and thieves. And I can't rebut that statement. And I, I would I would further point out that if the government, if we could say that the government owes people money. Well, that's not a debt that can be discharged by taking money from other people. You're not owed – you can never be owed money that has to be stolen from someone else. Well, I think that uh, – you know, I mean, now that we're digging down into it – the people that I believe owe these people money are the ones that have benefited. First, the politicians. Second, their lobbyists. Uh, and third, the paymasters behind it all. So I really think those are the people that owe – since those are the people the soldiers are ultimately working for, those are the people that owe them. But that has nothing to do with the bill that passed in Congress today, no. which is definitely going to put it on, uh, you know, on whoever they're able to take it from. Absolutely. Okay. There you go. I mean, this, but it's not a good scenario, though. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, most of these are 
people that you know they don't they don't have any level of enlightenment around the ideas of liberty they don't know you know they're just saying hey i signed up i should get paid i look at the, the terrible conditions i depleted uranium um, ptsd and all these things that uh, have gone on i feel terrible for these people and it's not a great situation but the only thing i can say to them is you're not owed money that has to be stolen from someone else if you can find a way to take it out of the hides of your congressman well i'm with you but uh as far as taking it from other citizens, you don't have a right to that. There you go. Appreciate the call, John. Uh, your comments, too, 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Chris calling in from Connecticut, I believe. Chris, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes. Yes, the police state of Connecticut, actually. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, actually, let me just address the last caller by saying, actually, I think I have PTSD from seeing the amount of taxes pulled out of my payroll paycheck every uh, pay cycle. Yeah, it's a, it, Why it, are you it, staying in Connecticut? It's that. a bit of a shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the most expensive place to live, except for maybe Hawaii and D.C. And I do plan on moving up your way as soon as possible, so I save up enough funds to get up there, buy some land, and, you know, Join the movement. Have you signed up for the Free State Project already? I have not, and I should have. Let's it's just go no, ahead and do that tonight, shall, you, shall we? I know. You just I go to freestateproject.org, okay, right. and you can sign up. All right. <laughs> I will go to freestateproject.org. As soon as I get off the phone, I'll fire up my laptop. I'll do it. Nice. All right. I guess I'll abbreviate this at this point. Um, that guy, Whit, man, or James, whatever you want to call him, he is clearly really obsessed with nuking the hell out of people, especially <laughs> Japanese people, huh? <laughs> Well, at the very least, he wants us to agree with uh, his his uh, position. Yes, and look, I, I'm so, I can't I'm imagine so that I'm ever going to change my mind on this one. I, I don't think he's real. You know, like he, he, last night's co-host always swears by because there's the same guy calling in for, with multiple names, always trolling by the name of Witt or James or what have you, talking about new things Japanese people back in the day. But as somebody who's definitely researched atomic weapons and, you know, I can run a math problem or two, I, I just think it's sick to, to wish that kind of death upon people for any reason. And uh, Witt, though, he's clearly, like, he, he is witty. He's on point. He's well-researched. Not he's dumb. sober. Yep. I, I, you know, and I'll admit, I've definitely, it's the end of my work day. I've, I've definitely indulged in the red wine. <laughs> so I, I don't know what to think of that guy. He's got to be, like, you know, it's classic. It's Everybody's always saying they're paid government shills on the net, what have you. But I don't know. I think he takes the cake for it. He's, he's definitely working hard. I, I don't. I don't think he's a paid government shill. I think he's obsessive um, in many ways. Um, and I, that could be too. He could just be crazy obsessive. I mean, you know, he's I don't I hesitate to use the term crazy because he can sort of string his thoughts together very, very well. I mean, he's not, you know, out of his mind, but I I do wonder about um, maniacal and death worshiping. Maybe. OK, <laughs> maybe that's not crazy. What if he really, really likes really, really thinks his dad's great and his dad because he's mentioned his dad's position on Japan in the past. And so I just think dad's great. Dad had this position on Japan, so I'm going to hammer it home in order to you know, uh, lionize my father or whatever way. I don't hey, know. My grandfather w was a World War II vet, and I, and I bet if he was alive to this day, just from what I recall of him, he was kind of libertarian, didn't pull any permits for tree houses, what have you. You know, he knew what the government was about in his, in his older age, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, so, the, we've, you know, we've had many vets call this show and say <laughs> entirely disparaging things about, uh, you know, the, the, the United States government and its uh, its wars and, and those sorts of things. That doesn't seem to matter. Um, you know, they're either right or wrong. Smedley Butler, the winner of uh, two time winner of the Medal of Honor. And probably would have been I know. I know all about that. Yeah. If I could sway the su subject, though, very quickly, as I was calling into my local AM again today, as I usually do, and try and promote my brand of truth. I, I, you know, came to the realization that basically all the talk shows around here are almost following your model of, you know, it's it's up to the caller to to talk about what they want to talk about. It's pretty impressive. It's like free talk live all around. And I'm quite sure that's not especially to Connecticut at this point. So good job, guys. Well, I think it's more common in local um, programs because it's more difficult for them to get calls, um, so they're more likely to do it. Free Talk Live. I mean, we we have <laughs> we were nearly two hours without calls this evening, and sometimes it's you that know what? way. I didn't want to call in because you guys were flowing, and sometimes yep. I think that's just how it goes. I, I think so too. Um, I think it can be that way. Chris, thanks for the call so much. So I'm Whoops. Oh, oh, oh well. <laughs> Next time, buddy. Maybe that's why they don't call in, Mark. <laughs> yeah, because I just drop them on their heads. <laughs> Let's go to Jim in Richmond. Jim, you're on Free Talk Live. 
Hey, guys, I uh, I just tuned in to hear that, the caller before that guy, and, and I hear the phrase, you know, you're not entitled to tax money seized with a gun from someone else. Yes. And, you know, I, I'm he's speaking my language. But if anyone is entitled to federal money, it's a person who has rendered service to the federal government and has, you know, some sort of condition as a result of that service. I mean, that's like saying that your post local postal employee doesn't deserve money. I think that's still even, I mean, debatable. I mean, yes, if anyone is entitled to money by the government, it would be somebody who rendered service to the government. But it's still debatable because the government really doesn't have any money. Yeah, they only have ours, and um, you know, people either gr- agree or disagree with uh, with it. And certainly, John's not incorrect that the government takes everything that it, it has. It takes with the threat of a, a gun, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not as radical as you guys, and most people, are, I can't say that. If you uh, say that the government steals yeah. with a gun, you are as radical as I am. Well, okay. If <laughs> if there's a person who has lived on welfare their whole life and they're tweeting a picture of their water bill. Yep. that they haven't paid in five years in Detroit, and they're like, you pay my water bill. That's a different thing than someone who has defended the borders and kept Islamic nutcases from chopping my children into pieces. There's, I would agree that uh, the, the government has a, a variety of different ways of creating uh, you know, dependence, and uh, you know, that's a better form of dependence. But my uncle was in the Air Force for four years, and he said it nearly ruined them for, uh, for real work. And I've heard plenty of veterans say that. There's a phrase here amongst New Hampshire movers, the difference between a minarchist and an anarchist is about six months. Anarchist, please. Terrible word. <laughs> Free Talk Live. Thanks, Jim. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Springtime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, Hootia and Metabolic Complex, and Pro Metabolic, all on sale now. Also, the Anti-Parasite Intestinal Freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus Stevia Liquid Sweetener and the Super Enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. It's the final segment of Free Talk Live, and one of the, you know, I was just bemoaning having no calls uh, in the, the first couple of hours, and then having a whole bunch of them. We had four calls on the line right. in the last segment, but bam, they all fall off. <laughs> you know, that's just the way it goes here in uh, the, the talk radio land and the sort of things you have to deal with doing this seven nights a week. And Free Talk Live is a, it's a radio program unlike every other radio program out there. You can call in and talk about whatever you want, and that, I mean that's a that's a huge service that uh, Free Talk Live does. And if that was just the only service, it would be a big one. But we also, if you believe in the ideas of liberty, you don't have to believe in them as much as we do. But if you believe in the ideas of liberty, you will likely agree that there are few to no, depending on how you interpret the ideas of liberty, few to no hosts out there that are doing what we do. Well. The, the idea that we get on and we talk about human freedom in the, the, the sort of radical notion that you own you and that no one else does is something that is unheard of on talk radio. And if you want to support that, not support that we talk for it, uh, talk about it, really more specifically, if you want more people to hear the message of liberty, then you should amp free talk live because currently your amp dollars will be doubled. We are getting matching dollars in from uh, some some generous contributors, and every for every uh, person for every five bucks an amplifier is five bucks. That's all we ask. For every five bucks, it's fifteen people we reach uh, with Google AdWords. Fifteen more people are reached because it's about it's about thirty three cents uh, with the the words we use. These are people searching for talk radio and liberty oriented talk and things like that. And that's since that's doubled. You're talking about 30 people for your $5 a month that you get, um, you know, a bunch of perks. We have uh, we offer the AMP-only call-in line and AMP-only podcast that has no commercials in it and the AMP-only forum on uh, Facebook and, and a variety of other other perks. You get all those for 5 bucks a month and 30 more people every month will hear the message of liberty. And that's really powerful. We also use that to go to industry um, or industry events so that we can get on more radio stations. We use that money to uh, put us up on free-to-air satellites so that people around the world. Free Talk Live, we're not in it for the money. I know, yes, we do take paychecks. Absolutely. we. This is our job. But we're not here to get rich. We're here to spread the ideas of liberty as best we can. So, um Yep, that's why I think you should uh, support the Amplifier program. Go to amp.freetalklive.com and see if uh, see if it's right for you. You know, we've had a lot of calls uh, this this uh, hour, most of them talking about a variety of different things, but I you know this this whole topic of uh, World War 1, World War 2 that uh, James brings up on a regular basis. I really feel that these two wars are intertwined. And one of the reasons I became convinced of this, Johnson, was because of the words of Harry Brown. Right. Do you have a little excerpt from a Harry Brown um, uh, essay here? I had it. It's a, There's an article by Harry Brown about World War II uh, called um, 
the uh, ignorance of history is no excuse. And unfortunately, Harry Brown's website currently is uh, down, which, you know, unfortunately... Oh, it crashed on you? Well, no, no, no. I've got access to it, actually. You can get access to uh, his articles because they're all text um, via the Google cache. Um, so I have access to his article. Um, and essentially, he's written a, a bunch of articles talking about um, World War II and specifically how entwined it was in uh, with World War One, and how hey, you know, maybe if politicians had minded their own business in 1970, 1917 instead of plunging America into a war that didn't threaten us, an armistice would have occurred. An armistice would have occurred, and the existing governments in Russia and Germany most likely would have remained in power, meaning that there would be no Soviet Union, there would be no Hitler, and of course, you know. There are always people who think that they're do-gooders and they believe that they know what's best for the world and they claim that some simple little act of force will settle matters once and for all, and of course it never does. I wouldn't say it never. I think that uh, James uh, has rightly pointed out that uh, you know the United States' use of force in World War II, uh, you know, essentially Japan stopped its uh, imperialistic uh, wishes and went on to be an incredible um, powerhouse as far as manufacturing and, and now, um, you know, the creation of technology and that kind of thing. It's an amazing place. They really changed their tune after World War II. They were just as imperialistic as, and even more so in many, many ways than uh, the other. But again, if you take countries. into account, for example, if you think into account, you know, of, of domino effect here, if there's no Soviet Union, maybe we wouldn't have the, some of the stuff that's going on in the Middle East if oh, I think that's Russia's a big... government had remained in power. Sure. So, you know, there's domino effects. Absolutely. There. I'm not going to um, I'm certainly not going to argue the United States belonged to World War 1. It was a it was the largest mistake in US history. Um as far as like a single decision goes, obviously, you know, the way that uh, the U.S. dealt with uh, Native Americans and, and that sort of thing, terrible um, situation. Lots of lots of uh, terrible uh, things that happened in U.S. history. But as far as one decision, the decision to go into World War One was a bad one, a very bad one. And it had a lot of ramifications. And I think we have to look at it in ho in whole as opposed to in part. Yes, the United States, uh, you know, managed to crush the uh, um, the ambitions of, uh, you know, um, Nazi Germany and imperialistic Japan, but it <laughs> it gave power to Joseph Stalin in the process. Right. Um, Stalin became very empowered by the results of World War II and killed millions more people than than Hitler did. Well, I think Harry Brown makes some interesting arguments. I mean, he says like if the U.S. had stayed out of World War One, there probably never would have been a World War Two. No Hitler. No Hitler. I mean, if the Allies hadn't imposed draconian peace terms on Germany in 1918, there probably would have been no Hitler to threaten anyone. Germany would have resumed its role as an intellectual and cultural center in Europe. American diplomats apparently learned their lesson and eased their demands somewhat at the end of World War II. Uh, the Allies forced the Germans to pr promise things that could never be delivered, and uh, using force to exact promises from someone like Saddam Hussein creates about as much security as ordering your cat to guard your home. <laughs> if demands are un if the demands are unnatural, as expecting a country in the Middle East to disarm certainly is, you can expect a backlash. And he goes on to say there will always be thugs like Hitler, like Osama bin Laden or Saddam Hussein in the world, but those thugs aren't dangerous to us until we create real grievances that cause millions of people to start supporting the thugs with money, networking, and connections that will allow the thugs to threaten us. I mean, and he goes on, and it's it's a very good article. I mean, it's he talks about you know people who are ignorant of history are doomed to repeat it. Right. I think that most people in the world just aren't don't just don't spend that much time with rational thought, and. And so, therefore, they can be swayed by ideas like, yeah, the great Satan, they're terrible because of their, you know, the, uh, the, the Coca-Cola and Britney Spears and whatever. And, yeah, absolutely, there are people in the Middle East, uh, mullahs and whatever, these radical types that, uh, that say these things. But when they also say what their list of grievances really is about is the United States being involved in their country's uh, governance, you know, supporting kings in Saudi Arabia, supporting dictators in Yemen, uh, around the Middle East, you know, that's what their grievance is. There's uh, United States support for Israel, and uh, you know, Israel, it's it's a really a, it's a tough situation. If the United States, here's another if, if the United States, if 
Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the bigoted SOB that he was, would have let those Jews, uh, let the Jews come from Germany into the United States, how much better off would we be? Take a look at how mm -hmm. advanced um, Israel is right now compared to the countries around it. Basically, it was, it was brought to where it was in the sh course of a few decades because... You know, the, those Jews wanted it to be that way. Awesome. Excellent. Why didn't we let them here? And then they wouldn't have had to spend all that extra energy defending themselves, all the money that goes into that. And it would have been more brain power into more innovations and more wonderful things. But no, well, we're run by bigots. People defend bigots. And I'm supposed to somehow not call it bigotry when it's bigotry. Well, the United States might, might certainly might be much better entertained and uh, funnier. <laughs> I look at, you know, like all the uh, Jewish entertainers and, and Jewish folks in comedy. And Imagine if there's another Mel Brooks. Yeah. For God's sakes. Wouldn't that be awesome? Or another, you know, like uh, folks like Einstein and folks like, you know. Uh, well, Einstein came to the country. But uh, yeah, oh, right. um, you know, no doubt about it. I, I, I think that this is it's. It's sad to see people defending, um, you know, violence uh, in all these uh, situations. I think it's it's difficult when I see Israel uh, def defending, quote unquote, um, quote unquote, defending itself against uh, the Palestinians. I see, well, look, um, in this last uh, episode against the Palestinians, there have been six times as many Palestinians killed in that situation as Israelis killed since like in, in decades. Well. That's a disproportionate outcome, and there's no doubt about that. Well, you can uh, check us out in the meantime at freetalklive.com. It's been Mark with you. And Johnson. Check us out on the Facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com, too. And amp the program at amp.freetalklive.com. Stop. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 357 877-357-9938. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, July 31st, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,295, silver opened at $20.66, and Bitcoin is trading around $574. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication for all your print and audio duplication needs. Mention promo code LIBERTY and get 5% off all DVD and CD duplication jobs. Online, affordablesound.com. Or give them a call, 512-459-5253. In the news, 
The United Nations has accused Israel of seriously violating international law after it struck a school located within a refugee camp, killing at least 15 people, mostly women and children, as they slept. That word from a report published by The Guardian. The U.N. Secretary General said the attack, which left 100 more injured, was outrageous and unjustifiable and demanded accountability and justice. The attack left 17 dead, including a journalist, according to Gaza health officials. On Tuesday, the United States and the European Union announced plans to inflict a new round of sanctions against Moscow. The broader sanctions include limiting access to EU capital markets for Russian state-owned financial institutions, imposing an embargo on arms trade, and reducing Russia's access to sensitive technologies, particularly in the oil sector. In a speech in front of the White House, Obama said the U.S. will block the exports of specific goods and technologies to the Russian energy sector. Albuquerque Police Department is considering scrapping use of its MRAP armored vehicle, after opposition from the public and negative press attention that accused the country of turning into a militarized police state. The department acquired the military-style vehicle through the Department of Defense's 1033 program, which allows law enforcement agencies to obtain war vehicles used to hunt insurgents in Iraq and Afghanistan. An ACLU report warned that such vehicles are part of militarized policing in which Americans are treated like wartime enemies. Support for Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show. Live each Friday night at 9 o'clock Central Time. That's CoreyMoreShow.com. And support for Liberty Beat comes from Roberts and Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800 874 9760. This is the Liberty Beat. For Thursday, July 31st, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. A Houston based psychiatrist has been arrested and indicted for charges related to organizing a human trafficking organization. KLTV reports that Riaz Mascuri was arrested by the Gregg County Sheriff's Office and booked under a federal warrant. Mascuri and three other men stand accused of bringing female dancers from India and forcing them to dance for clients 12 to 14 hours a day, seven days a week. The group reportedly ran the operation in New York and other cities between 2008 and 2010. Now, court documents state the men would confiscate the victims' passports and keep them captive in hotels, threatening them with violence if they attempted to escape. Mascuri was released on a $300,000 bond and is scheduled to appear before a judge in a New York City federal court on August 1st. Biotech companies Monsanto, Dow Chemical, DuPont, and others have spent more than $80 million since 2012 towards fighting mandatory labeling of genetically modified foods. That's according to a report issued by the Environmental Working Group on Tuesday. Part of the campaign includes the launch of an interactive website called GMO Answers, a broad effort to win over consumers. Scott Faber, executive director of Just Label It, which supports mandatory GMO food labeling, said the industry is losing. The New York Post has reported that more than 2,500 9-11 first responders have been diagnosed with cancer. New data from Mount Sinai Hospital's World Trade Center Health Program reveals a rise in cancer rates, including 1,655 rescue workers. When combined with firefighters and EMTs with cancer related to 9-11 cleanup, the total comes to 2,518. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live Sunday afternoons at 4 o'clock on 1370 a.m. in Austin. That's 1370 a.m. on Sundays at 4. And support comes from Cabo Bob's, non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Online, CaboBobs.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, July 31st, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. The members of Twisted Sister announced they are now willing to take it. A local man is seated next to Lou Reed on a roller coaster, and in retrospect, a band teacher was probably gay. And now a digitally remastered recap of the summer's music news. Baby Baby Love Ya Girl is now the nation's number one song, despite no one claiming credit for singing, writing, or producing it. Here now is a short excerpt of the track. Baby, baby, love you, girl. Baby, baby, love you, girl. Baby, baby, Members of the music industry call the hit single the most creatively brain-dead wasteland in modern recording history. And they say they would gladly lose millions in royalties rather than face the shame of having been involved in it. 
After a slap face filibuster from rubber band minority leader Bootsy Collins, the National Funk Congress remains deadlocked over the controversial get up, get down issue. Proponents of the measure favor getting on up and staying on the scene like a sex machine, while detractors are vehement in their belief that Americans need to get down, get down with their bad selves. <laughs> this is the Onion News Network. It's time for Off the Air Live. <laughs> And here's your host, Cody O'Connor. Hey, everybody. It's Off the Air Live. It's the show that you hear every Thursday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. on LRN.FM and on TalkSuperStation.com. Phone lines are open tonight at 774-314-7067. Or you can Skype in at Off the Air Live. Have you ever heard from somebody the phrase, I'd rather be masturbating? Because I sometimes have that feeling while I'm doing this show. Is that okay? I mean, this is an exercise of mental masturbation, if anything. But um, I really do have that feeling every once in a while. I am drinking free beer tonight. Just it's Everything that I've been drunk in is free. I'm drinking strawberry daiquiris. I hate them. I'm just drinking them quickly so uh, the 3.2% alcohol thing can work on me faster, basically. Um, I like how Ebola is trending on Twitter, by the way. It's almost as though it's gone viral. Isn't that right? Let's take a phone call right at the top from an unknown number. This could be bad. Hey, you're on the show. Who are you, brother? Uh-oh. Are we talking to a wrestler? Oh, yeah. You yeah. Know yeah. Oh, can you dig it? Do you have things to say? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth lately, uh, yeah. But every single time I seem to have a feud, I seem to go to your show, buddy. I really don't know how to add to this bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, we, yeah, we get it. The fucking, the fucking guy who wrestled a long time ago and he said, brother. Yep. His name doesn't come to mind, but he, <laughs> whatever. Uh, yeah, so Ebola is a thing. We're all going to die. We'll talk about that later tonight. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It'll be a very nice, depressing episode of a comedy talk show. Don't get your panties in a bunch. There's a lot that I need to get to beforehand. I got in a lot of fights today, and I'm still kind of reeling from it. Like, literally, I got into more than one argument today. And I've come to the conclusion that, according to everybody else, I'm stupid wrong, crazy, and dumb. Everything I say is not only ridiculous, but uh, borderline laughable. And fuck me for having opinions that are a little bit strange. I talked to this guy. His name's Kevin. Fucking hate Kevin. And I'm sorry if your name's Kevin, but I'm, I'm, I'm at the point now where I think I hate every Kevin. I think I hate them all. This guy... Starts talking to me, not only about Ebola, but um, the hell else did he want to talk about? Some other fucking thing. I'm too tired and wonked out to even remember at this point. Good God, I, I think the point of the story is fuck Kevin. Uh, oh yeah, let's 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 talk let's talk to this guy again. I'm sure he's got something really good to say. Yeah, brother. What do you mean you don't know who I am? Oh, I'm from the Mega Powers. Oh, too sweet to be sour. Funky like a monkey. Oh, yeah. I'm the Macho Man. You don't remember me, dig it? Seriously, I snapped into every Slim Jim there was. Not the best call. (laughs) Not the best one. I mean, I welcome prank calls. Trust me. I'm a big fan of them, but... uh... I don't know. There's other impressions to be done. There's other impressions. Why does everyone does either Arnold Schwarzenegger, that fucking guy, or um, was the dude from the dead zone? My brain's really not working today, guys. I don't know what the deal is. I like how Skype asked for feedback on how good the call was. Was it was it excellent? Was it a five-star call? I'm going to say maybe it was like a two-star call. 
I mean, it sounded all right, but honestly, I'm not having any of that today. I'm not having any of it. Now, why can't I remember what the fuck that guy wanted to talk about? Kevin. Someone go into my brain and figure out what Kevin wanted to talk about. It's going to be a very long night tonight. You know, this is the problem with radio is that the difference with this and podcasting is you decide to do a podcast. All right. I know I've been taking a lot of nights off, but there's a reason for that. And that's because my life's in shambles. All right. Is that okay? Can a man fall apart? Is that okay with you? I'm sorry. You guys are all, you know, I, I, as of tomorrow, I have $150 in my bank account. I'm glad everybody else is doing so well. I really am. But, um, yeah, whatever. So fuck Kevin. I'll get back to Kevin when I remember what the hell that was all about. Uh, my mom gave me something nice today. It uh, it says, eye in the sky. It's a, what what is this? A postcard sort of thing with pages. I cannot do tonight. I really can't. Postcard with pages. It's got like this button in the middle with an eye. And then all the pages are cut out in the center. Am I explaining this right? Let me read this to you. This is a great story. This came from my mother. Eye in the sky. Looking at yourself. Don't gaze into the double mirror. It's a trap. Looking at the others, they are bigger, better, smaller, stronger. But where the green eye does not serve you. Conquer the brain of the eye and you'll neutralize the gaze. A neutral eye reflects the light, creating a protective force field. The eye can protect you, but you must also protect the intake gateway. Recognize its power. Oh, we're getting two calls and my mic's going out. Jesus Christ, man. Nate from Legacy Radio. Hey, this is your brain trying to help you remember what you were thinking. Oh, my brain? I hate that fucking guy. Yeah, I try it, but I'm too stupid. 